और गाइस व्हाट्स गोइंग ऑन तो अब इस वीकेंड हमारा दुबई प्रो शो हुआ था एंड वी आर गोना बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द दुबई प्रो शो स्पेशली वी हैव आवर इंडियन एथलीट्स जो उन्होंने कंपीट किया था सो वी आर गोना स्टार्ट ऑफ दिस पॉडकास्ट विद जस्ट दैट हम लोग पूरा सब एथलीट्स की फिजिक एंड जो टॉप 5 आए थे उनसे उनका क्या कंपैरिजन था एंड व्हाट डिड दे प्लेस व्हाट डिड दे प्लेस वी कैन ऑल डिस्कस सो आई हैव हैरी एंड देन वी हैव राजा जॉइनिंग इन टुडे टू व्हाट्स गोइंग ऑन गाइस Raja, you speak Hindi or no? You understand Hindi? A little bit, little bit, little bit. Learning. Okay. No, no, sir. I think that's all right. You, you've got huge, you've got huge fan following in the north as well. Now, so you got a lot of people who follow in the north as well. Thank you, but I'm still learning. I, I find it difficult. I know for some reason, I'm still learning. It's been like that's five okay. years, and but I can still that's understand okay. if you guys uh, talk. That's okay. A little, little, little bit. We're gonna be doing that's okay. No, anyways, though. Um, what I'm gonna do is like I'm gonna spray share the screen so we can all be kind of like judge the same stuff. So let's go by like the let's talk about the call outs first. We'll just discuss the first, second, and fourth and fifth call out. Just maintain Indian athletes there, and then uh, we'll go into the individual guys. So let's see if I can. All right, so I think this is the uh, this is the first call out. Uh, yeah, this is the first call out in the pre judging. So I think what they did is um, I want to make sure that people get a little bit of an idea. The first call out was in, in what they usually do at most of the shows is they when they're going to make a big call out at the pro shows I'm talking about. They'll do a big call out. And then um, after the preach, after that first big callout is done, they're gonna invite the guys again to judge them again and during the pre-judging. And in that, they will like be, be a confirmation round of like, you a top three, yeah, five, yeah, four uh, corner. So that's why we have like this the big one, and then they change it into like only four guys. So essentially, I want to be clear, like you know, Anik was in second callout in the uh, in the pre-judging, and uh, uh, Rahul was in third callout in the pre-judging, and then in the finals. They were both in the second call out. So let's talk about this here. I think you have to move to the floor. I want to talk about the back was the most. So, Harry, what do you think about the back was? I feel like the reason Anik like didn't place where um, in the top five or six. Was actually to do with his back. When he stands by himself, when he's in India, when he when he's by himself, he looks good, he looks great. But if you really see amongst these guys that are top eight at that show, all of their backs are thicker and a little bit wider too. Look, there is no, there's no question about that. I think where, if I look at these top five guys, now the first thing where he misses out is the height factor. All the top for four four guys except one maybe is his side. Uh, Mirlos is his height. Okay, so the big disadvantage he has is he's going up against guys who are six feet tall. So no, once you're up against the guys with the same height, like the guy that came second is the only one that's shorter than Carlos was shorter. Yeah, see it here. Like the, his height is very similar to all the other guys except obviously the guys in the middle and then Sid because Sid is also six feet. Yes, yeah, Sid six feet. The, I, I'm talking about those guys only. The other guys here, um, see here, his back with these guys is comparable, but he's not beating anybody from the back. Yeah. He's comparable, he's close, but he's not beating anybody. If I look to the guy on the right, you know, a his skin color is a little lighter. That he ha- that that is probably helping in his conditioning coming through. Anik being a little darker, he's getting washed out here in this light. This pose, uh, and everybody else from there onwards left. They're just monsters, man. I mean, even the dude on the extreme left. I think his back separation is crazy. Um, so, and Anik, you know, for some the, reason, the, just looks. The guy on the left, as you mentioned, um, he has a great separation, and I think that is a good point to say because yeah. not just that he has an issue with the thickness. But I also feel like um, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's to do with like just filling up. Like he could have filled up a little bit more his back. 
बिकॉज होता क्या यू नो दैरी लाइक यू नो योर बिकेस्ट मसल ग्रुप इज गोना बी लास्ट वन टू फिल आउट सो विद हेम लाइक हिस्स फ्रंट इज सो डोमिनेंट एंड सो स्ट्रॉन्ग इट्स ऑलवेज फोर I've never seen him flag from the front, anyways. But from the no, back, no, he's not. Never. Yes, from the back, I feel like you know, in his updates, he does have that. He does have the muscle. He looks better in his updates. But somehow, when he goes on stage, this happened the same thing in India Pro Show when I watched it. He was kept back, and that was his feedback from the judge. It was the back post that was the issue. No, what I feel yep. like is no. Whenever I saw his updates, yes, he squeezes his back. Something is wrong with his uh, rear delts or some interest. Right? It used to be uh, something is wrong with his delts or his back was always. And also, second point, in my opinion, is uh, he misses the stage presence. Or uh, because at the end of the day, they're all like top Olympians, and you have to make sure judges look at you. you Got to pull the uh, judges towards you, and then they give you a chance. I feel like that's what is missing. Anish had the stage presence at this show better than the one he had in India. Like he was more. He's improving. Of course, he's getting better. But it was Rahul that needs that for sure. So we're gonna talk about. No, him. I'm. I'm. I, I want to add something here. Uh, uh, Raja does make a very valid point that um, Anik needs to work on his uh, presentation. But I will. I will tell you, uh, if you see the posing of the top five guys who did. Out yeah. of those top five guys, third, I think whose notes I have, yeah. Sid's pose only only Aaron's posing was good. Abby's posing, others posing was horrible. Now yeah. coming to the posing, posing is this is as a judge and as an experience. I mean, from ten years, see in this pose, in this pose, in your compulsories, in your mandatories, there is no posing skill. Only posing skill is how well you can hit your pose. That's it. How well you can spread your back and all that. Here, if I look at Anik, if anything, Abby is actually the last one to hit his pose. When you look at the back shot, everybody is already hit their pose. So, so Abby is actually the last person to hit his back. And when I see Anik's back pose here, he is actually posing better than the dude on his right. He is posing better than um, the dude uh, Milos because Milos is crunching his shoulders up. He, he his back pose is as good as he can really do it. It's just that he has no separation. I, I don't think the pose. I, I don't think the posing is issue, the issue here. I don't. Think I think he's just not not separated. No, I agree. I don't think it's his posing. His back pose is actually, according in my eyes, like that's the best way of hitting your back pose. The way he's hitting it, um, it's great. It's yeah. just the destination he needs more, and for that, boy, like either you um, instead of trying to fill into that hundred percent spot, you can just try to gain more muscle. And bring it because both just call out me here or yeah just that, again each show differs and I think in this Dubai Pro it was a more back dominant show um, just because of the top guys that were in there competing so in each show like it, you have to play according to who are the top guys that are competing and in that sometimes they go for the more front dominant depending on who's competing abs most of the time you see abs dominant or and then you have to have a better abs in this it was mostly back and you can see like the Aaron. Um, and then Carlos, and then City, like, and then, like, um, and then who, Abisai has a pretty good back too. But it's mostly mostly Aaron, Abisai, and uh, Carlos, and said like these guys have like great backs. That's what he's fucking doing. crazy, man. Like these guys' backs are next level, man. So these guys are just like ne uh, next level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was extremely impressed with Carlos's back. So what I also wanted to talk fucking... about, a lot of people like don't understand this, and I think. Web, I have said this before, but in India, our people do because for them, it's all about how much muscle you have, how good you look with so much muscle. So Carlos here, um, the re one of the big reasons that he did not come top two or top three, or even a comment actually meant was news page will be developed, and I had a lot of discussions with a lot of other pros um, that I was talking to, and coaches as well. Like DJ Pure was like talking to me about this. Um, Carlos. The reason he did not make it to that top two, even though he has the best back in that whole lineup, and he has one of the best fronts in that whole lineup, like this guy right here, right on on left of Aaron, he is bigger, fuller, more 3D, and harder than Aaron Banks and the guy that came um, second, third, even uh, sorry, sec second and third. But there is something in men's physique called being too dense. He was too dense. Now I, you know. You can go ahead. No, no, you go. go. Yeah. Okay. So with, with that, you know, um, with, with with that, I just want to add um something quickly. Before I say this, 
लास्ट टाइम कॉप जो बेरो फ्लैग के लोगों को दिक्कत थी कि मैं अपना फोन यूज कर रहा हूँ तो लास्ट टाइम क्लाइंट से बात कर लेकिन इस बार मैं फोन क्यों यूज कर रहा हूँ क्योंकि बिकॉज मैंने यहाँ पे ना अपने नोट्स बनाए हैं हर एथलीट के बारे में ठीक है जो टॉप फाइव थे अपने बंदों के सो इन कार्लोस आई मेड दीज नोट प्लस इज ग्रेट चेस्ट फुलनेस एब्स अ गुड बैक इज फिनल has nice christmas and almost uh, ronnie coleman type that separation that comes through from both sides that um, though the erectors um, um, um separation through of the erectors posing is horrible his posing was the worst you know what he was doing he spent so much time doing this and hardly any time actually hitting his poses and judges will obviously nobody is scoring you when you doing what the judges are only judging when you to showcase your physique and um, my last notes was um uh, show his physique or so my olympia prediction is will be knocking on the top 10 but it will be a struggle for him to break the top 10 that was my prediction for him who carlos uh, carlos he'll be knocking on top 10 but i don't think he'll crack top 10 uh um, Is he qualified for? Like he did the China Pro, right? He qualified from the China Pro show, right? He qualified, he's qualified. Yeah, he did. He qualified from the China Show. This was his fourth year as a pro, right? Yeah. No, no. The, this is me talking to the coaches and the judges, and I'm telling you, his thing is he's too dense. Unless he's too dense from the back, muscle, especially from the back. He needs to lose muscle in order to make it there. The show that he competed in with the guys that he was in, there was no Olympian there, there was not big competition, and he stood out. So it make, and he just turned pro. so it just it made sense for them to reward him for that but in this lineup you have to realize erin banks is the standard in this lineup and he has the right amount of density for the show that they have men's physique this is not classic physique this is what they did to dan ibrahim i don't know if dan, yeah, yeah. he's a matter hey he'll he quit yeah so and that's ibrahim, where that's where um, uh, kyron also got um, uh, gets pain less because of his chest is just too big i don't know if you guys know this but kyron doesn't really train hard or he doesn't use as much peds and he never has an off season anymore if you look at him now kyron <laughs> like kyron doesn't train during his off season he's, <laughs> he's just point. a fucking beast he's yeah. just a beast man is the genetic freak exactly so now you have to understand like people need to understand this term he wanted to go to classic because he had the density and he would have dominated classic but he has no legs So again, genetics. Yeah. He does. After the beginning, leg strain is not done. Your genetics won't handle. You have smaller calves and smaller structure. You are not going to be able to do classic. But upper body. So he lives the great life. Honestly, I look at him and I look at some of these other guys. I'm like, I'm jealous, man. They get to chill eight to nine months a year. Olympia is a team, and before he prep, he does. Now he has prepped. Now he has done. Now he has done. Now he has done. Now he has done. Think about it. He's ten weeks out from regions, and he's just chilling. But yeah, it's fucking crazy. Thing. Same thing goes with yeah. these guys, like Ibrahim and uh, Dan, and then this Carlos guy. He needs to lose the muscle, and losing muscle is a lot harder because you basically have to stop. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. 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 So Correct. Carlos, I, I know very well, and he's told me so many times that he stays natty most of the year. He does not. Yeah. Until he's on prep. Yep. So <laughs> I think that's the thing with my Carlos and he. That's what I wanted to make a point in this before we go on to like you know the individual guys and in, uh, the second call out. Um, that there is some engagement. Yeah, uh, Arvind's party was played with it. When I made it, it was for him. And then people, the whole internet went crazy. And then I got like uh, on a chat with Omar and Ryan. And same thing. People are like, "Oh, why do you say this? He's better than you. That's why you're uh, scared of him and you're this and that." But fact of the matter is, you in men's physique, you can be too dense. There is a fine line between being dense enough. and two days obviously don't have to thodi se badha diya in men's physique the the line has gone up a bit from what it was in 2019 and 2020 but it's still not to the level of classic carlos looks like a classic physique from up top agar wo apna bodybuilding poses karega he is literally like a bodybuilder like yeah classic. yeah no shit no shit man and totally as a bodybuilding poses which he has in his pose he does not look like a classic competitor uske baad itni hard does nahi no And same thing, Ryan, no, Terry. Ryan Terry is the standard, right? We are going off of Ryan Terry. He's not a classic competitor. He doesn't have that much density, but for men's physique, clearly, he's just good enough. Yep. Um, so I think that's what I wanted to bring up because our young here, amateur athletes, be here, who you know, up now, who go college job and then they don't place at any show. Like may it may even be like any other federation, or it can be like NPC, IFBB, and then they are like, oh, I'm so big, I'm bigger than this guy, and I didn't place. It's because you might be too big. It's not bodybuilding. Yeah. Yes. 
गो टू क्लास इट द ट्रेन लेग्स यू नीड टू ट्रेन लेग्स so this was good like this was the first one i think we pretty much said in this one i wanted to go to the second call out but see now they play anik at the far right um from the front pose i think he looked really good it was the back it was one of the weakest in that first call out and that's why he was probably like placed at the far uh, right so now i think it's going to be the second one which we are going to have rahul and uh, ravi right here so right the way i can see like the posing here's the thing that i feel like an issue is with a lot of guys that don't understand what competing at the highest level with a lot of athletes mean and that goes for amateurs as well rahul jo pose kar raha hai he's posing facing towards his right side but he is on the right side i guess he's on the left side of the stage and he's posing towards his left side whenever you do that you're always going to be at a disadvantage because the judge is in the center cannot see you properly until they move you in so a better way of doing that is always practice two sides of your pose if you're on the far far side make sure you turn so that you show your physique that like the guy that is on the left side his he is facing the judge from that angle so you can see his physique his taper whereas if you're on the right side and you're doing the other way around then you're not going to be they're not even going to be able to see it properly so it's better to like kind of like pose in the other direction but i think he's going to be moved here anyways but i just want to make sure keep i i i say that um let's go as a final yeah so the movement in the center and now is perfect and i don't think there is anything wrong with this pose what do you think harry no i i think his posing is fine from front oh, he's posing is perfectly for our arms yeah see uh they don't just um, place the athletes because of the uh, placement in the call outs or just like the first look or something they judge all times whenever they walk out or they do a individual routine they're going to form an opinion right after that the easiest thing to do is not at a show like this raja no huh? not at a big show like this you're right you're saying right about a show that has less competitors but i guarantee you that i've had these talks before no no this, it's not about judging it's or time. it's not about attention span like there are 41 athletes they don't have this attention span to be looking at all these other guys they're focused on like making sure that the guys are there but yes if you have made it into that top 10 and you are in the call out at that time they're going to think they're going to do it cuz see in a small Man, show, i i In a smaller show, they do look at the side. No, you. But no, I'm not right talking now, about the side. I'm talking guys. about see, for an example, you you are a judging panel, and the guys are at least are coming out for the individual routine. I'm going to form an opinion looking at every other guy. I'm going to pick my top five looking at. You were during your individual. No, routine, no, yes. no, no. I mean, you, you, you. I, I want to add something here just quickly. I know what you both of you are saying. I mean, maybe I can, I can find a middle ground. we you both are right in saying what you're saying bhuvan is right and so is raja yes you do form an initial opinion somebody walks out let's say somebody like say kairon or somebody walks out like say rahul i'm going to kairon look at his fucking chest man i'm going to look at his arms you know or oh, this guy is too small this guy is too big but it only sort of stays there it doesn't go any further you'll stay or oh, this guy is too small like in amateur or oh, he's too big what is he doing in in, in men's physique like you know but that's it but you really only start writing down once they in the lineup and they start hitting poses actually right judging to be honest is like this is the problem that they had with ronnie coleman or look at his gut look at his gut but it doesn't matter he's not getting judged in between the poses it's what is he doing when he's hitting the pose you know yes. the, doesn't matter how big his gut is yes. but um, i want to come back to i want to come back to this like in this lineup man i have to say this Rahul is absolutely fucking destroying everyone. Like between him and say, if this was like the first call out, if this was the on the we didn't have the first ten, he would be the winner of the whole fucking show. जो वो यहाँ पे दिखा, I want to say this in Hindi also. आप पहली call out वाले बंदे निकाल दो आठ. आप ये रख लो. मतलब के ये line up को देख के sorry राज हम singing Hindi I'm speaking English as well. अगर हम ये लाइन अप मान के चलते कि ये फर्स्ट कॉलर तो जो जो बाकी बंदे आए हैं वो टेक्निकली ऑन पेपर इनसे पीछे हैं राइट अगर वो इनसे पीछे हैं मेरे हिसाब से राहुल 
would have won the whole fucking show but unfortunately because itna bada show hai ki iske aage bhi 8 9 bande hain jo itne acche hain so you but in this lineup what you're saying, what you're saying in, that wouldn't really apply right that means that you're saying that this is going to be a show which is going to have zero olympians and it's going to be a tier 3 yeah. tier 4 show i mean it doesn't really because you have to realize you take out darren bangs you take out some of these other guys there's still a lot of olympians koi bhi what i want to make sure that people understand not a single olympian plays out of top 5 in this show yeah yeah so we have to understand this like okay these guys that are have gone to the olympia before they haven't placed outside the top 5 so all of these other guys from 6th place to i guess what 16th they're all non olympians first time trying to qualify बहुत मुश्किल है यार हमारे बंदों के लिए इट्स 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 एक्सट्रीमली डिफिकल्ट इट्स इन एनी बिग शो दैट वी सी देयर देयर आर टू टू टाइप्स ऑफ प्रो शोस मैन यू हैव देयर योर कजाकिस्तान मलेशिया ताइवान थाईलैंड इंडिया यू नो दैट्स इट यू हैव दोस शोस यस इन दोस शोस यू कैन विन गेट टू द ओलंपिया बट यू गो वे देयर आर थ्री और फोर ओलंपियंस फाइव ओलंपियंस यू गॉट नो चांस इट्स गेम ओवर यू आर फाइटिंग यू आर फाइटिंग फॉर 6 7 डाउन ऑनवर्ड्स उसके बाद आप सिक्स था रहे हो टेन था रहे हो इट डजेंट मैटर पीपल थिंक दैट यू नो देर आर बिग शोज एंड देन देर स्मॉल शोज दैट यूज्ड टू बी द केस अप अंटिल 2018 या 2019 उसके बाद से बिकॉज़ ऑफ द अमाउंट ऑफ ओलंपियंस वी हैव देयर कैन बी अ स्मॉलर शो एंड इट फैज आर थ्री और फोर ओलंपियंस दैट्स गोना बी वे मोर कॉम्पिटिटिव समटाइम्स एंड इवन अ बिगर शो लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल इफ यू रियली थिंक अबाउट इट दिस ईयर स्पिट्सबर्ग प्रो हैड ओनली टू ओलंपियंस Whereas last year, yeah, man, they both were fucking crazy. Yeah, all the people were excited, right? One and two, one and two. But then, yeah. you remember, twenty nineteen, twenty twenty. It used to be on uh, Raymond, Andre Ferguson, Arya. You basically there were seven, eight Olympians from that top fifteen in Pittsburgh, bro. You know why? why it that is happened? crazy. It's, like so, it's insane when you have that many. Um, Olympians in one show, and it can make. But nowadays, if you think because of the amount of shows we have, there are a lot of lots of these small shows here that have three, four, five Olympians. You know why this year only there were only two Olympians it, in the big box show? Because yeah. uh, they changed the rule to uh, the new new rule says you can't apply after a week, and then they don't let you um, join after a week or send your applications. No, right? People so plan their they, preps. People, but what Raja? What's no, the point about that? People plan their preps like months ago. Yeah, but Pittsburgh show they they think like seven or eight top Olympians are going to compete, and they don't really try for a, a show like a Pittsburgh Pro. No, 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 like no, 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 no. Yes, people were tired. You have to understand. Last year and last year, both years, the Olympia have been at the end of the year, and people have been competing over and over, back to back, back to back, doing a lot of shows, and then a lot of them just wanted to like recover and ensure that they are in the best position going into the later season. So you can see all the top guys are competing now. In that case, Maybe in that case, only. one week ago, one week. And you have prior to understand, most so. of the guys competed in Arnold this year. Arnold of this year was a lot more competitive than the Arnold of last year. December, by Olympia, okay. November, by Olympia, where you had one month off, and then you're right back into the prep into Arnold, and then Arnold they, was way more competitive. They were what four, five Olympians. In that case, the, like one week prior, there were too many shows uh, prior. So we we can we can, we can, can come. come. Dad, what were you saying? We can come back to this. All right. What were you no, saying? No, I was just saying. Let's. I, I want to. So, no, sorry. You go on, Raja. Yeah, you. No, no. I was saying like one week prior and after the show, there were like five or six Olympians at like other shows, DC Pro or some other uh, uh, local shows in US. There were like six or seven Olympians It's in just one point. week. It doesn't change, right? But those Olympians were not top fifteen. And I'm tell, and the thing is, it makes sense. See, up men last time, I think, was long ago. Bora, that I said that I only compete in shows that I feel I can win. Absolutely, yeah. that was totally that was to- totally taken out of context. What you know, said was, was oh, bilkul bak- bak- ah, bakwas kar rahe janta. Aapne yeah. bilkul sahi baat kiya. Apne prep waste mat karo. All you were saying, don't waste your prep and don't waste your money. Fucking like, idiots, man! In your, in your, you can only do two or three shows where you can look your best. After that, to within two, three months, keep up. Tell me, one prep, two, three shows, more, you'll do. And I've done it, and I know you just go downhill very fast. Receptors be fried out there, and you're pretty much done for like the pretty much the whole year. Yeah, yeah. One yeah, second, one second, Bhuvan. One yeah. prep, co, to do in a competition, you you need to spend four to five lakhs. 
and you were telling ke matlab ke you want to waste 5 lakhs on fucking go to pittsburgh and get your ass handed to you pittsburgh mein jaake bhanchu 20 20 mein number pe aana hai itne hero ne mein laiye ladai nahi ho rahi hai ye jitni ye sport jitni shatranj hai jitni aapki gym mein mehnat utni hai shatranj hai ye aise thode jaake paisa laga do pittsburgh mein new york mein jaake wahan pe abhi dubai mein bande gaye ek second let you know why what you know why lovepreet pulled out part of the, he had family issues part of the reason was mai kai tumko experience lena jaake 15 mein aana hai 10 mein aana hai 6 mein aana hai you are come 6 you are not winning you are not going to be top 5 in this show i told him i said to top ye darne ki baat nahi hai yaar uski body hai uski health hai main usko bhancho tikke laga laga ke laga laga ke jab uske jeetne ka chance nahi hai 5 kilo weight usko aur chahiye main uski liver kidney heart fry karke usko maar dun just because wo bol rahe wo bahut dar gaya dar gaya dar gaya भैया वो हॉस्पिटल पड़ा होगा ना एक रुपया नहीं देना किसी ने भगवान ना करे यार चूती है लोग यार मतलब कि जो भी कमेंट करते भी हैं इन्होंने अभी तक आप तक कभी कंप्लीट किया नहीं सर नो नहीं 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 मुझे नहीं नहीं मुझे नहीं मुझे गुस्सा पता किस पे आता है अब छोड़ दो जो बंदे बोल रहे हैं कई सीनियर बंदे इंडस्ट्री के जो पढ़े लिखे हैं मतलब कि वो भी आप ऐसे कमेंट कर रहे हो हम बड़े शो में खेलने जा रहे हैं यार ये लड़ाई नहीं इंडिया पाकिस्तान की आपके एथलीट की यहाँ पे लाइफ और हेल्थ है आप दुबई प्रो शॉप में चले गए हो इट मेरे हिसाब से कोई भी एथलीट स्मार्ट था ना तो उनमें से किसी भी हमारे इंडियन एथलीट को दुबई प्रो नहीं खेलना चाहिए था अब मुझे बोलेंगे कि तुम ऐसे डरे हुए नहीं नहीं लेट मी फिनिश बिकॉज ये मुझे गालियां देंगे मैं अब मैं पहले इतना एक सेकंड देखो मेरे हिसाब से किसी भी इंडियन एथलीट को दुबई प्रो शो नहीं खेलना चाहिए था उसका रीजन ये नहीं है कि आप डर गए आप डरे नहीं हो आप समझदार हो आप अपने हार्ट लिवर किडनी अभी जून आपने खेला है इन सब लड़कों ने रवि ने जून खेला जीजो ने जून खेला सब जून खेला उसके बाद अभी आप आके जुलाई के एंड में लगा रहे हो छे छह महीने के आप लंबे लंबे साइकिल कर रहे हो मरना है या जब आपको पता है वहां कोई चांस नहीं है आपका टॉप फाइव आप किस लिए खेल रहे हो थप्पा लगाना है यार पहले होता था कि आपने पॉइंट इकट्ठे किए चलो टॉप फाइव में तीन पॉइंट हो गए दो पॉइंट हो गए चलो सेंस बनती थी ठीक है अभी क्या है कि अभी आप क्वालिफाई करोगे जीतने के लिए ठीक है मैं चेतन चैतन्या को दिसंबर खिला सकता हूं लेकिन उससे होगा क्या फायदा क्या होगा छह महीने की उसकी प्रेप खराब होगी उसकी बॉडी खराब होगी इट मेक्स नो सेंस सो पीपल सेट ओ यू कान गेट स्केट यू आर नॉट फकिंग अली बिलाल you are not fucking ryan terry you are not erin banks you are not those top the five guys ke who are people who are top five contenders when they show up even look at jeremy boindia if jeremy boindia was a brand new person jeremy boindia wouldn't have placed fucking 20th in the olympia agar jeremy boindia jeremy boindia ka naam hata do uski shakal hata do aur ye physique ki sabse wo olympia qualify nahi hota गेम चेंज हो गई अभी क्या है कि पहले गेम होती थी सिर्फ स्ट्रक्चर की अभी क्या है कि अभी स्ट्रक्चर के साथ उनको मोटे मोटे एब चाहिए ओब्लिक चाहिए जितने भी हमारे बंदे टॉप फाइव टॉप टेन आ रहे हैं सबके पास मोटे मोटे एब्स हैं सबके पास ओब्लिक्स हैं ये जो एंड्रेस पीएस है एबी पी जो बंदा है ये अगर इसके एब्स अच्छे होते थिक होते ओब्लिक्स थिक होते ये एरिन को भी बीट कर देता ये कर देता ही वुड प्लेस फर्स्ट अभी गेम ना चेंज हो चुकी है ये लोग समझते नहीं है मतलब कि इमोशनल होकर लगाओ पर मैं सुन रहा था रवि की कि हम अभी अगला शो देखेंगे भाई तुम सिक्सटीन आए हो क्यों पैसा वेस्ट कर रहे हो क्यों अपनी हालत खराब कर रहे हो जाके अपनी कंपिटिव वर्क ऑन वॉट यू नीड टू वर्क जाके तुम अगले शो पे यहां तो अब छोटा शो खत्म हो गया अपने बड़े बड़े शोज खेलने हैं जाके यूरोप में यूएस में हाँ पांच से दस लाख गाने आपने अपनी हेल्थ खराब करनी वो अपनी मर्जी है अभी जितने दिन बोल रहे हमने वो जाके शो नहीं यार आपकी आपके क्वालिफाई होने की विंडो निकल गई थाईलैंड मलेशिया कजाकिस्तान वो थी हमारी इंडियन एथलीट के लिए आप जाके ब्राजील यूएसए यू, यूरोप में खेलोगे आपका तुक्का लग जाए बात अलग है ठीक है वो कुछ भी हो सकता है तुक्का लगने को कुछ भी हो सकता है लाइफ में लेकिन अगर हम लॉजिकली सोचे नो नो ओके लेमी से वॉट आई एम सेंग इज के ऑल ऑल आर इंडियन एथलीट राइट नाउ दे शुड बी गोइंग टू दफ सीजन मोड एवरी वन ऑफ दम If the day th- you are placing sixteenth in a show, you coming tenth in a show. Where if you go now, your window of qualifying is gone. All the smaller shows like Malaysia, Thailand, Taiwan, and uh, your Kazakhstan, India, they are gone. Okay, See, now you are going to be competing the beast shows. You got no chance. You get lucky. That's a different story. And I wanted to touch on that subject as well. Like 
at a I guess at a later stage, but this is a fact. And the problem is it is not because the athletes. Of Hokia, there was a time where the industry was more about the coaches and the athletes, and you know, your 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 friends that are competing, and you talk amongst each other and you get good advice, and you you're more sane. Problem up kya hui hai? it's because of a lot of these you know gimmicky YouTubers and people that talk, you know, in the gym, and you, all these people that have no idea what they're saying. I'll tell you why this is going on because this naya thing, even for me, I've realized that the naya naya cheese I last year say ki bada show karo. बड़ा शो नहीं करोगे तो तुम कुछ भी नहीं हो बट बड़ा शो करो ये हुआ क्यों है ऑब्वियसली बिकॉज़ आर इंडस्ट्री इज सो ऑब्सेस विद अली दैट ही इज लाइक ओह ही इज डूइंग लाइक द बिग शोस सो नाउ एवरी इंडियन हैज टू डू द बिग शोस इट्स लाइक आर यू स्टूपिड लाइक आर यू लाइक नॉट यू नॉट अंडरस्टैंडिंग व्हिच एवरीथिंग दैट हैडी जस्ट सेड आर द रीजंस व्हाई यू शुडंट बी डूइंग शोस टू जस्ट पार्टिसिपेट या टेक अ रिस्क it should be strategically good risk shows ki acha aapki prep hai aapka money hai your health is Again, the more you compete, the more drugs you put, the less your longevity in the sport is going to be. It's a fact. So, why would you want to decrease your longevity in the sport? जब आपको पता सब लोग अभी twenty five thirty हैं लपरी कितने और बहुत से age twenty nine. Yeah, see, every almost literally everyone is between thirty five to thirty. You these if they start doing this, they won't last till thirty five. And after peak physique goes from thirty to thirty five, it makes no sense. To be doing this, but you know, now obsession is still there because they see this one guy that they relate with, which is Ali. He was New York, he was Pittsburgh, he was. So we should be able to do it. Last year they did the same thing about doing the Europe shows because he was doing the Europe shows and Manoj and Siddharth went to Europe shows. It doesn't, it doesn't work. You look at your physique and then you realize which shows you can win. There's no guarantee you're going to win any show, but at least you're going to be in that top three, top four, top five. And if you beat one Olympian or two Olympian, then that's great because at least आपके पास एक ही achievement है कि आपने किसी Olympian को beat करके you have gone to the uh, main Olympia. If you beat a, if you do a show without an Olympian, then that's not going to do anything. You qualify and then you're going to be beat like really bad at the Olympian. Now it's all Ahmed when he qualified. The good thing about him qualifying is at least he beat an Olympian. Whatever the thing was, at least he beat a guy that has been to the Olympia. अगर आप वो अगर आप हटा दो इफ ही इफ इफ ही वाज इन कंपीटिंग देन देयर वाज नो ओलंपियन देयर देयर इज नो बिग डील एंड एंड दिस इज द बिग मिस्टेक इंडियंस इंडियंस मेक दे नॉट कंपीटिंग इन इंडियन प्रो शोस या योर बेस्ट चांस टू विन इज इंडिया अगेंस कोच इफ लाइक इफ देयर आर 30 एथलीट्स ऑन द स्टेज ओके 30 एथलीट्स 20 आर इंडियंस यू हैव गॉट 10 times better chance versus 40 athletes and five indians in dubai you have 40 athletes and just five indians what are you talking about yaar yeah? you are going to have much better chance of being 20 out of 30 it's this is some indian who's going to win every so, every bit of a chance raja did this and we talked about this raja was doing the you read the korea shows raja right and what did we talk about you're being compared to the standard of the korean physiques right asian yeah. physiques exactly it's different and their structure is different Why will you be placed in that top? जब आपका structure ही वो नहीं है, there are no chance. Crazy small waist and abs. You have great abs. They just they just round. Crazy chest. तो क्यों जाओ वहाँ पे? जहाँ पे पता है कि at least bees में से दस लोगों की crazy chest होएगी. And they did the exactly. And and then they made this a big 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 thing. कि यार ना हमारे यहाँ बड़े athletes compete कर रहे हैं. Imagine if they work just as hard. Did all of this and go on to compete in a show where there was only one or maybe maximum two Olympians and maybe three or twenty competitors. They could have won. Raul could have won. He can. Raul can win. It's not like these guys cannot win a pro show. But it's the guy. Yeah, I'm. 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 Or Lapreet was at his peak. Any of these guys could have won the pro show. If you take out Alex, okay, you take out Alex. I think. I agree. You know, I mean, I, you know, you are telling me that Amit is better than these guys at their best. No man, Vardhan at his best is definitely better than uh, Amit. So is Rahul. Rahul at his best is better than Amit. Lapreet at his best is better than Amit. But Amit won because that he was good that day, and it was his day. That was his destiny, right? But to say that, yar Rahul, yar just because you 
yet this is what actually broke my heart yaar you came second in the earlier show pro show behind um, uh, you right or ali or whatever right he came second or third, third, third point, whatever right? don't skip that part that people need to understand he beat ali ye cheating meeting jo he beat ali bolo yeah <laughs> let like, he beat ali yes ali <laughs> and you were and then you were skipping the indian show june show yes. yaar ab mura pagal ho aap like itni politics ko sar mein leke ghoom rahe ho ka matlab ke aap second aaye ho agle show mein aap ninth aa gaye to kaun sa toofan aa gaya yaar aap show khelo june india mein show hai wo bande ali plays and i last basically 6th year 6th year 7th last year and then he came what first at pittsburgh yeah. to 21 yaar it can happen to the best of the best ये मतलब कि एंड यू ब्लेम कर दो कि मैं ये शो कभी जिंदगी में नहीं करूंगा व्हिच वे यू हैव कम सेकंड ट्वाइस यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड राहुल के इंडिया इफ आई वाज इन कंपीटिंग इन दोस शोस ही वुड हैव आई मीन फर्स्ट शो थी के देयर वाज नो ओलंपियन बट द सेकंड शो देयर वाज अली ही वुड हैव क्वालीफाइड बीटिंग अली एंड गो देयर गो देयर बट लाइक आई मीन आई वाज सो शॉक कि हम इंडिया में नहीं खेलेंगे ये ये क्या धुन लगा रखी है आप लोगों ने हम इंडिया में नहीं खेलेंगे यार आपके घर का पिछवाड़ा है आपका सौर का तेल लगना है घर से वहां पहुंचते हुए कोई खाने होटल का खर्चा नहीं कोई साल रेंट का खर्चा नहीं कुछ नहीं है Again, there is strategy. Yeah. Strategy. Your yeah. shows are more than that. Poor strategy. Poor strategy. Poor strategy. But now, poor there is strategy. There will be any shows. There is China show. You will never win because the Chinese are cheating themselves. No, you will not win in China. No so, chance. China, me, you will never win. Yeah. You will never win. You will never win. You will never win. You will never win. And then there is structure. Cut. You are completely different. So you will never have a chance. So what will Asians will compete in? Your best bet now is like couple of American shows, couple of European shows, and that's it. वो भी नहीं जीत रहा और यार आधे बंदों का आधे बंदों का आधे बंदों का हाफ द पीपल डोंट एक्चुअली गेट द वीजा ये दैट्स अ लाइक इटली में यू हैव टू रिगार्ड इटली वीजा देन दैट्स अ प्रोसेस सो दिस नहीं यार आई मीन इफ यू इफ यू इफ यू इफ यू लुक इफ यू लुक एट राहुल राहुल की प्रेप मुझे सबसे ज्यादा दुख होता है बिकॉज़ राहुल हमारी टीम का बंदा है एकेडमी का ठीक है और वो मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगता है मेरी उसके साथ बहुत अच्छी अंडरस्टैंडिंग है वो आई रियली लाइक दैट किड व्हाट हैज हैपेंड You have spent all these drugs, spent all this money to get ready to play one show in which you knew you are not going to qualify. Even if you came second, coming second or last is the same thing when you're not qualifying. When your only goal is to qualify, whether you come second or come last, it doesn't matter. They knew they won't be in top five. They had announced it. To me, that is a big issue. But wow! Announce कर दूँ या मुझे लगे मैं this is for for example in Dubai Pro. If I had already qualified for an Olympia for for Olympia before, let's say I did a show like a couple of weeks before, I was in prep. I would have gone and done the Dubai Pro just because I know I've beaten City before. I know I can maybe you know place in that same mix, and it can maybe I yeah, yeah absolutely I makes sense. And and, and also you want to put them in the judges' minds because it's Steve and Harry. Let me finish. The reason I was going to say at least I know I can maybe in top five and fifth place. Got the prize money and that's two thousand US dollars. Which is the exact same prize money that you get to win a pro show. So to me, I'm not competing just because. Oh, you know what? I'm to experience. I'm going to go. And if I get fifth, I'm going to be okay. No, I'm thinking that. Yeah, I'm in prep. Me. Two weeks. Now, two weeks. First show. Yeah, first show. Yeah. Two thousand dollars. Mil raha hai. Puri trip free hai mere liye. Agar agar mil jata hai to theek hai. Agar nahi bhi mila to theek hai. Pass nahi to tha. Theek hai. Thousand five hundred dollars ka kharcha ho gaya. Baaki to main prep me hi ho. The drugs are pretty much the same cost. But if this was a show that was Three or four weeks away from any of my shows, why the hell would I do it? Especially when you either a qualified or you know you got no chance, and it would make sense because you being amongst Erin and being in front of Steve and Tyler, it yeah. gives you a really good opportunity to get some quality feedback as well. See, I understand the quality feedback thing, um, Harry, but the thing is, every show is already judged by Tyler because of the. photos and videos are sent to him and he makes the confirmation yeah yeah i wish these people yeah. they need coaches and ko ye nahi pata please ye samajh jao ki yahan aake 7th 8th aake ki hum to bade judge ke samne acche hain tum wahan bewakoof ho if you're thinking like that because the problem is you don't understand he show pictures and videos to confirm are sent to tyler 
he's sitting there and confirming the results before it's even because ultimately indirectly every show is being judged by talent these guys don't understand this yeah chao koi bhi show international ho chao wo apna us ka ho chao wo kahin pe bhi ho so even in the show steve was there so he didn't have to send it to talent but guess what talent will still do the breakdown of the show because he will still get the pictures they will still talk yeah so what are you going correct feedback from when you can get the same feedback go to any show and just email tal because he has yeah, the absolutely the show. he will give you the feedback if you want it agar aapka chota show hai he doesn't do the feedback of the smaller shows but he does the feedback of the bigger shows even when he is not there because he's getting all the feedback push knows you wasted a whole prep yeah. and that's what I want to touch on like you know these guys that you know um, Ravi and Jijo Jijo for example I wanted to bring him up before we show his physique. Like we can even show his physique. Um, I wanted to bring Jijo up because maybe say about with the India Pro Tour about right after like me and Raja were there and he was also there, and I told him very clearly. I think he had like twenty five pounds. I may be wrong, but either twenty or twenty five pounds was his weight cap, Harry, to gain. And I'm like, wow. Why are you? And I told him I'm like, take a long off season. Do not think about competing until you have closed that gap by half. But like ten pounds gain, carlo. And then you have ten more pounds. Then you can still try. <laughs> and he's like, "No, I'm, I'm thinking of doing another show." And I was just like, "Yeah, twenty pounds. <laughs> That's a lot." And that is square. And that is square. That is square on Omar's Omar's shoulders. You know how many athletes have come to me from Omar hmm. who've been fucked by him. I'm sorry, but. Poor guidance, no input in show selection. Whatever the athlete says, yeah, yeah, we'll do it, we'll do it. This is not coaching, yeah. This is not coaching. This is absurd. So with Omar, I think the only thing is that he doesn't pick the shows for you. You just tell him whatever you want, and he'll go with. Yeah, it. it's it's absurd. You know, you're paying you're paying four hundred dollars a month, fucking thirty thousand rupees a month. Are you kidding me? I mean, like, anyway. <laughs> That yeah okay. So I think at Jijo and um who was the other guy? Was it uh, um Love uh, Lovish right? Why are you guys? Unless ki tu hai pas tu me vacation chahiye Dubai me and you wanna look shredded and look good and you know go there and have fun and then this is just an excuse of like ठीक है हम लोग stage पे भी चढ़ जाते हैं. Why was this the reason? And Jijo is such a competitive guy. He he is a great work ethic and hard worker. This was should should have never been done. You have never been in the top five. In a good stack show, your size has always been an issue. Why? And you're young. Again, even for me, I'm not competing. Why? Because I need to. Until I'm gaining that size, I'm not going back. जब तक मुझे लगेगा कि मेरे पास वो density है, वो new muscle density set हो गया, why will I be wasting time? And that's the same thing with Raja. It's the same exact same thing. It's like and Raja, remember I told you this last year too. Don't compete. But then you did the yeah. show, and then you got the same feedback, right? कि यू नीड दिस यू नीड टू गेट बेटर यू हैव पोजिंग थोड़ी सी ऑट मसल ले लो थोड़ा और वो कर लो एंड यू गेन अ लॉट ऑफ साइज एंड दैट बट दैट्स व्हाई यू वेंट अगेन एंड आई हैव द जीजो आई डोंट थिंक ही हैज गेन एनी साइज फ्रॉम व्हाट आई हैव सीन फ्रॉम हिज लास्ट नो नो आई थिंक विद द जीजो ही वाज टू फ्लैट और ड्राई टू पील इन इंडिया शो एंड ही वांटेड टू कम इन फुलर दिस टाइम एंड चेक हिज लुक हाउ How it goes on stage? Yeah, but that was that, that might be. Yeah, the pro show. What was the what was the gap between the two shows? Um, yeah, Less than eight weeks. He, he lives in Seven Dubai, weeks. right? He lives in Dubai. The uh, cost factor is not going to be much for him, and uh, maybe he wanted to give it a try to so get feedback from Tyler and. Also no, no, Raj. I, I, I'm just talking about his I, opinion. I, I'm just talking about his mindset. I'm not saying it's right or not. But it's that would be his mindset to be able to jump into that show. See, I have his pictures here. No, I'll 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 share my opinion on this. is very simple. This is the way I look at it. Is see, <clears throat> there are essentially twelve months in a year. Okay, and if you have wasted two months, that means you've just wasted over ten percent of of the of the time. Okay, so if he did June. that means during july he was on drugs for two months extra when he could have been off drugs recovered his body if not off drugs he could have gone to calorie surplus added some more size you just wasted two months of time one on harsh drugs like you running on trend you running mastron winstrol halo diuretics whatever else 
or if you're going just by on PRT, then why are you even bothering? I mean, to me, things have to make sense, logical sense. Every day counts when you are trying to get to the Olympia and you know that is your ultimate goal. Yeah, out of 365 days, you just wasted 60 days. That's 10 percent of your time gone. That's to me, that just makes no sense, man. I mean, I mean, each to their own. You know, I'm not their coach, but anyway, I, I mean, think, that's just my I opinion. Think, Harry, as a competitor, I can say ki, um, when you are young and you're in your first two or three years of pro um, uh, pro career, you're very, very um, hungry and aggressive towards your goals. And what when that happens, it's a logical your brain is and you are more emotional than what you want to do. And Iskander, I think what he's really is driven by with the emotions key. I want, I work so hard. I do everything I can. I'm making so many sacrifices. I have been there. So I understand his mindset very well. And I want to keep going. And I, I did that in 2019. But at the same time, you also have to realize that if you're top five or top four, mein nahi ho, then I don't Milkul. think you are close. And this is a fact for anybody. If you're in top five, even as an amateur, go compete. That's fine. You know, do it. If you're not in that top four or five and it's a big show or whatever, stop competing. Ye to ek, ye to, I think what I should say is the golden rule of competing. Ka. Top three, especially, you're always going to be, you can change it up. This ka din hoga, jayega, you may look better or not. If you want top three, top four, mein nahi ho, then this is, you, you need an off season. An off season, this, I wanted to say this, this is bodybuilding. Body to build karke, compete karna hai. So I think that's the thing with him, and I, I sympathize and I understand him, but I also feel like this is definitely like and, and 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 look at the irony. People who should have been doing three, four, five shows, they just uh -huh. did one. Rahul should yes. have done three, four shows, and he did yeah. one. Yes, that is yes. Get to those also, or yeah, because Harry, this has been happening for like what? Two, three, four, three, four, three, four, three, four, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what's the strategy. Um, um I want to see a uh, love, uh, love is okay. What did you think about Love It, uh, Harry? You want, me to be, you, want me, you want me to be brutally honest? Yeah, I mean, we are pretty much... Brother, I mean, uh, talking strictly about his physique, he's never going to play top three in any, any pro show, even if it's a weak pro show. So what would be your advice to him? He should retire. Why is he wasting his money and why is he even destroying his health? Hmm. What's there to gain? We just want to keep doing it just for the sake of it. When you have not placed top 10 in any of the shows or top five in any of the shows so far, and you are not looking like you're getting there, you don't have the structure, you don't have the muscle bellies, you don't have the, I mean, if you know, if you have the structure, the muscle bellies, okay, we can add five, like Jijo, he's got the structure. If he adds his young guy, he can add, you know, five, seven kilos. Okay. He's got a chance. Lapreet adds five, seven kilos. He's got a chance. Rahul. He's got a chance. Vardhan comes in good. He's got a chance. But when size is not an issue, you don't have the structure, you haven't placed top five. Why are you doing it? You're putting, spending seven, eight lakh rupees on your, um, on, on your prep a year, 10 lakhs a year, putting all these drugs. Like for what? I mean, that's just absurd. I tell, I tell people routinely, I had an athlete, I told him he was paying me 50,000 rupees for three months. He, he did six months with me. I told him six months or nine months. I said, brother, you are not cut cut for the next level. You should quit. I was happy. I could take, I could keep taking his money every three months. Yeah. 50,000 doesn't hurt me. But what happened? He left me. He went to another coach and it's been two years. He still hasn't competed. And he, he's not going to turn classic physique pro. There's no genetics. Lavish, great guy. I like him as a person, but as a competitor, he's not going to play top three in any show. You can play top three. Tukka lagne yar baat alag hai. Wo to kuch bhi ho sakta life mein. Tukka lagne ko to matlab ke India one T20. Look at the catch that Surya Surya Kumar Yadav took. That was in a destiny. 
that could have been six game over but we took the catch we won the world cup so tukka lag jaye baat lag gaya but aap ek show mein tukka lag jayega sir i te- i tell you you know who are the people who should really be competing bhuvan if i'm being totally brutally honest brutally honest people who still have the potential people like jijos and lovepits and all that if they can grow people like rahuls vardhans and above all people like you you have consistently in india people might hate it you are still the best fucking men's physique pro by a mile not because you have won the shows i tell you why if you started today and you had won no pro shows even then my money would be on you because you are 6 feet tall you are broad like a fucking jumbo jet you got great stage presence you fill out your chest is come up nicely shoulders coming up nicely now the only thing that is going to the biggest challenge is going to be is when you cut how much of this tissue is going to remain how much of this is going to stick that is the only thing but your off season is going brilliantly so but if you are not vardhan and you are not these there so many of the pros you look shit man you know even even for somebody like ravi great physique but it's going to be a challenge for him to crack top 3 in any pro show great guy great physique but aap top 3 top 3 wale material nahi ho because usme dekho yaar size is maxed out he can't gain any more size size is not his issue राइट एक तो चलो हरा बोलते हैं जीजो लवप्रीत साइज नहीं है इसको लवप्रीत नीड्स हिस्स चेस्ट नीड्स मोर बैक नीड्स मोर ओब्लिक्स नीड्स मोर शोल्डर्स भैया उसको पांच किलो चाहिए अगर वो गेन कर लेगा तो कुछ हो जाएगा नहीं गेन करेगा नथिंग विल हैपन लवप्रीत स्टोरी इज वेरी सिंपल ही गेन्स 5 किलो ही कम्स राइट टू द टॉप ऑफ द कंटेंशन ही ही पासेस प्रधान ही पासेस राहुल पासेस एवरीबॉडी देन ही इज नेक्स्ट टू यू इन द टॉप ओलंपिया क्वालीफाइंग कैटेगरी if he doesn't gain 5 kilos in the right places then he will remain in the tukka lag jaye lag jaye but he is not a clear cut front runner yeah. clear cut front runner is bhuvan number 1 then anybody is there vardhan rahul these guys anik these are the top 3 indian men's physique pros right now that on their given day they can win the indian pro show in december overseas yeah. no chance आप इनको ओवरसीज भेज दो धजिया उड़ जानी है छोटा शो कजाकिस्तान जैसा फिलीपींस जैसा तुक्का लग जाए ताइवान बात लग है बट राइट नाउ इंडिया में टॉप तीन मेन्स के जो प्रोज हैं दैट इज वरधान राहुल एंड अनिक डेल्टा दिलीप ही एड्स फाइव सिक्स किलोज इन द राइट एयर इज इज बैक ही फिल्स आउट एंड चेस्ट लिव इट मोर चेस्ट शोल्डर्स इज नेवर इन इश्यू देन ही गेट्स इन द मिक्स baki you know it's it's a, it's a tough world yaar it's a, like ya paisa lag raha hai set khrab ho rahi putting in average men's physique prep is 10 to 20 lakhs a year if you going to compete two three shows that's a lot of fucking money man no i uh, i agree i think what the issue has now become that they are trying to compare the whole thing in the sense ki theek hai aap ko bas bade show karke bade show jeet rahe hain and uski wajah se these athletes are now just going to participate and what they're not realizing is as you said your best bet is to do the india pro show and win that and then go on to do something else because that is always going to be the best bet because of physique similar all indian physique similar and now sorry <laughs> this is all up this very i want to join into the audience ab audience ko apne indian athletes ko support karna nahi hai they try to support all these other guys that are coming from outside so what is happening is ab har baar har saal wahan se do teen char panch ab dekhna agle they won't even qualify in the india show because of our own country that we love others atithi atithi devo bhava ha to aa jao aap hamare aao pan banayenge guys harry i'll tell you something i mean i'm not 100% sure that apna bolunga nahi do you think in delhi uh, in the mumbai in december show it's only going to be indian athletes I'll tell, I'll tell you something. Here's my here's my prediction. Here's my prediction. And if every I'm telling you in this December or June onwards, every Indian men's physique pro is going to be doing Indian shows in two years time because बाहर कुछ होना नहीं है तो इंडिया में क्या चांस है फिर बोलेंगे इंडिया is the best show. I'm telling you. But India में भी तो बाहर के लोगों को बुला के आप उनको उनके followers subscribers इतने high कर रहे हो. कि अब राजा अब राजा गया इन कोरिया यू वेंट टू कोरिया डिड यू गो नियर द कंट्री राजा आई वेंट टू ताइवान ताइवान ठीक है यू वेंट टू कोरिया एंड ताइवान कितने फॉलोअर्स मिले कोरिया और ताइवान के 
I think like 5k. Uh, so you got 5,000. That's not bad. That's pretty good. Do you know how many Alex got? Like 2k. Fuck. <laughs> like 30 to 40,000. 2k? 2k? You know, Alex fucking 2K? played the... Alex played the oh. politics, bro. Alex is a fucking politician, man. The dude played the game like he played everyone out of his fucking palm he is doing the dubai pro show pro show recap in the end he has to give a shout out to his indian boys like the he, like he behaved i thought that was like uh, I, I mean it's not sincere like you are you just lost man it's okay being gracious but to go on and on and about Amit, my brother, Amit, my brother, Anik, my brother, bro, you just met this dude like a day before the show. What fucking brother, man? I mean, fine, be a graceful um, you know, loser, but to just carry on like he's your fucking childhood friend and you've just all these childhood friends in India. I know you want to launch your fucking shots in India, man. Good luck to you. you know, more power to your Maserati logo. Um, shorts and whatever you know, I don't know whatever the name of the the brand is. Good for you, man. More power to you. But uh, and we people just like, oh my God, Gore and Hancho, our name they gave. Yes. 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 If you don't, if you're not in that top mix, you're gonna have to compete. करना है, आपको अपना business बढ़ाना है, आपको अपना पैसे बढ़ाने हैं। Look, बात अलग है। वो game अलग है। वो वो goal है। अब मैं मेरा point है लविश के इतना कि if you if you compete to qualify for the Olympia, then with all due respect, you know nothing is same as a person उसको जानता भी नहीं चितना से based on physique, उसके chances बहुत slim हैं। I think my उन्हें वो कुछ बोल सकता है। my uh, my uh, two cents in that would be i think you're right harry i do believe he, he probably will never win a pro show it's hard but i also think that's not a bad thing because that's a lot of athletes hain uh, us may brazil may or har jagah jahan pe they did not do well in men's physique but then they took the time off they grew they moved on to classic and then they did amazingly well if you really are that kya bol sakte hain driven for bodybuilding right harry like, correct me if i'm wrong raja if you're like really driven for bodybuilding you will make it out of it because agar wo young hai i'm assuming he's young he's among around 30 you have a lot of time build the body to the standard and it work out karoge to aapko result milega but if you're into it for fame if you're into it for business then you probably won't stick around for 2 3 years of off season i know how hard it is <clears throat> 2 years of off season but but Bhuvan, you you are missing the the one very important point. Yeah, you think classic physique is easy now? Fuck man, look at the level of classic physique. Those monsters there now. So so what I wanted to share with you, um, Harry. Let me just pull this up here right here. Um, so Eric, I competed with him in 2019, and I remember him from 2019 and 2020 and 2021 as well. All three years, he was a men's physique athlete and he was always coming dead last in pro shows. Forget Olympia. You're talking about in pro shows. In 2019, we used to only have 15, 20 guys in pro shows. I've competed with him on stage twice too and I never thought he was anybody. Okay. What he did is he did the smartest thing and he did like two years of off. He went on to classic. At the first show he did in classic, he came third. Now, the thing is when he was in men's physique, his upper body was not that structured. Structure came about Karena. There was he didn't have the structure to be doing it as well. But then he built his physique, he brought out his legs. His legs were never like a strong point. But then he built the physique and he got third or fourth of the palace show. Then he took another off because now he knows that he belongs there. He can do. Uske Batsi is not stopped winning. He just won Pittsburgh Pro this year as a classic music competitor. He's in the mix for top 10. Imagine a guy that come only I mean, yeah, the, the, look, oh, absolutely. If, if, if that's what Lavish wants to do, give it a try, then yeah, that should be a smarter move. Give it two years and see what try. happens. You yes. should try because structurally you can see he doesn't have the men's physique structure. Classic physique, can be, I don't think it's a, like an amazing structure, but his back and his posing and the way he just does everything, he is doing really well. And again, I like the guy. So I, I, I think for anybody, this is not just for Lavish, everybody that competed in this show. For anybody. 
अगर आपको लगता है कि यू नो अगेन यू हैव टू बी रियलिस्टिक विद योरसेल्फ एंड एक्सेप्ट व्हाट हैरी जस्ट सेड वेरी ब्लंटली आई मीन ये कि उसको हर्ट कर सकता है बट ही सेड इट द राइट थिंग इट मे बी ब्लंट यू हैव टू एक्सेप्ट इट यू आर नॉट इन द मिक्स यू आर नेवर गोना बी इन द मिक्स मूव ऑन एंड देयर इज नो रॉन्ग भुवन भुवन आई वांट टू आई वांट टू ऐड वन थिंग वेरी इम्फैटिकली हियर रीजन व्हाई आई टेल पीपल टू क्विट इज वेरी सिंपल ओके because this is not cricket this is not gulli danda this is not badminton this is not tennis this is a sport you take steroids you take yeah. steroids you are destroying your health you putting in 10 lakhs a year 20 lakhs in 2 years and if you are not going to get in because these are your prime years to work also build a family build a career you don't want, you know how many people we going to have in india in 10 years who are in their 40s and they broke bodybuilders broke because they spent 20 years chasing a dream which they were not built for and they didn't even build a career with, along with that and you spent 40 50 60 lakhs 1 crore in 10 years 20 years you got nothing to show for everybody is not sangram everybody is not going to fucking have supplement stores and gyms and all that you going to have a vast 90% of the at these athletes are going to end up broke and with damaged kidneys and hearts that is the thing yaar yaar tum compete karo mere baap ka kya jata hai yaar tum karo compete main to jitne bande mere paas aate hain main sabko bolta bhai tu kyun kar raha hai mat kar i tell people when they ask me they still want to do it it's their choice are our personalities are similar in that even in it comes in coaching because i am also like dekh ke pata chal jata hai ki bhai nahi but then you know how nahi ho raha moment you search i have lost so many clients over the years because yeah, i think they need 3 years of off season 2 years off season it doesn't take them a week to leave you i'm like <laughs> and then eventually they quit anyways but i'm competing karna bana jata hai because of whatever they did with some other guy that gave them like you know the 4 gram 5 gram of care and then they're done but it's a fact some people are not meant for this just like how some people are not meant for basketball or cricket or music yeah, it's, it's, you know, yeah, yeah absolutely know. and that in this immense physique i think my just two cents would be agar main us state mein hota ki i am one of those guys that i'm not in the mix and i will never make be in the mix i would just love my bodybuilding i would try to build agar aapke following waisi kam hai you are not an influencer forget about it do something else to make money and exactly it's exactly do your off season it's not as expensive as preps are just build physique love the process and then maybe 2 3 years mein who knows that abhi maine example isi uske eric ka diya you might be one of the top guys in classic physique because you have built the it's, a, it's there's more chance you can build a good physique in classic because you need density muscle and poses are eight poses then men's physique men's physique mein structure agar nahi hai nahi aap tarah bhi fill kar lo you will never be. what's your take on this uh, raja what do you think about this what do you think um, uh, lavi should do or like uh, some other guys like right? raja like Be or other guys we feel, feel free to comment about some of the other pros even from um, south you know like any of the pros or um, um, amateur athletes so in my opinion so you got to try so with bodybuilding you have like five different things to earn from first make sure you are financially settled and then you start com- think about competing and then you try one or two shows but make sure when i say five things you can open a supplement store you can open a gym you can be a influencer you can be a you can do these five things figure out online training and then there are these avenues to make sure like you, you earn the money and then you don't get into debt so you have a plan of a future stick plan where you're not going to suffer your family is not going to suffer and and then you start competing when you try your luck you no my question is my question is what my question is what do you think what lavish and jijo jijos and ravi and these guys potential what's your take on these five guys who competed yeah, what do you think their future is like Just, I guess maybe comment on all of them because I guess you didn't get the like just name chance to name. speak about anybody. Yeah, just yeah. just do the five. Let's Rahul. start with the let's start with um, uh, Rahul. Rahul, I think he has a size. He has to compete in uh, like four, three four shows and then make sure like he he he'll make he has everything. He just has to put it on stage and get his win. So he has to compete in like three shows. He has everything. Just make sure he nails his posing, practices his posing, and then peaks well, and then. Yeah. With um, I agree. I uh, I think Rahul Rahul is Rahul is good. Rahul is excellent. Yeah. 
Yeah. See, Rao yes, 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 the muscle. He has size, and I think he great look great here. He has the density for um, great pacing. He has always been top two at the India show, except that one time, which means that he has potential. He has brought his arms down. It looks much better yeah. now than it looked in much 2022. Better. So his proportions are showing, and I, yeah, he is definitely one of the top guys, and he should just keep competing. Yeah, he just um, competes in three or four shows, and then make sure like he doesn't leave any gap. There is a the potential there, and then Anik, with. Uh, uh, Anik, with Anik, uh, for some reason I feel like there is an aura that's missing around because he has the density. Back is also good. It's not that he has a, a bad back or he has to uh, drastically improve his back. He has good chestfulness. He has everything there. He, the, com com the competition standard is going high, but still I feel like uh, his aura could be better. Maybe his looks, his shots, a like, little bit of here and there because at that level, they're only missing by a few, like one point here and there. So maybe his luck can work and he should compete in um, other shows like Kazakhstan, where he plays second. Maybe he can go to tha um, Taiwan, other shows, and then make sure he tries luck. Because um, he has everything over the period. He, has, he, has, he also has a good potential. He has to avoid shows like Dubai Pro, like tough shows initially, and then make sure he gets his qualification and then. Yeah, but no, I would no, always no. say it is aura. He has to work on his stage presence, aura. Maybe haircut, maybe like look better, even better. Because it, at the end of the day, it's men's physique is about like attitude and also you, you gotta look good. They only have two poses to judge from. What about Ravi? Ravi structure uh, is okay. But at the top level, there are guys like the, he'll. He, it's very hard for him to be at the top three in a tough show stack lineup because of his structure. His waist. One thing I, I would like make a point point on uh, his physique. I just noticed it. I don't know, Raja, if you know, observe it too. His upper body is a lot bigger, and he has like legs. Like yeah. his legs need like a lot of improvement. So it makes his yeah. physique disproportionate. And that is not a good look in men's physique. Like, uska V shape on the jage because of his legs being so small that that yeah. V shape, like that X frame, is not there. Yeah, uh, and uh, and I feel like it's like uh, it's internal rotation. I think he's rotating his hip towards it. Like maybe if he opens up his hip and like yeah, yeah. posing is the hip posing. Like, definitely. Yeah. Yes, front I'm seeing good help. Good. Yeah. His front pose needs a lot of work, but I also feel like just overall from like the new standard of men's physique, he just needs uh, his, uh, he needs more size on his legs. I mean, it's it's uh, it's very small. His shorts are tight. They're the no, seventeen inch shorts, making it look like you know, like I just don't like it because of the proportions. It's just all pure upper body. There, there's no legs. Maybe wear loser shorts. Maybe if you have to have that, um, he has very good density. So my thing would be on Ravi is that um, if he he can keep trying to improve his physique, maybe make the proportions better. Um, yeah. Maybe I think he. Yeah. I also feel like he could have been more conditioned in the show. Like he could have been maybe drier or conditioned. But I think yeah. my feedback is just more size and legs. There's no X factor. When you do that, you know, if he adds his squat sweep, his waist might look. Uh, it's about illusion, right? His waist might look smaller. Exactly. And it, yeah. So that could be uh, worked upon and. Of course, it, it could become a, uh, it could come in a little tighter as well. Tighter, and then yeah, just yeah, that's that's it. So, um, yeah. And then who else is left? I think that's that's it, right? Ravish, uh, G Gijo. Gijo, yeah, Gijo. What about Gijo? Gijo, since he's tall, he has to fill out. He has to fill out his frame, like up here, and then it's a good back. Still density. He could add some density. Since he's very tall. If we add his, uh, he has the structure, maybe like five or six kgs, which is like 10 pounds, 10 or 12 pounds, for sure, to be competitive at that level. Yeah, I think with him, it's just the size thing. He just needs more size yeah. and needs a longer offseason. His work ethic is good. If we focus on a good, a real good offseason, definitely he can uh, add uh, quality muscle. Yeah. He has everything else. He, he, he posts well, his stage presence is good. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's about it. I think, um, Harry, like, what's your 
um, take on uh, Ravi? I think we didn't talk about Ravi. So, uh, what's your take on this? Uh, you know, it, it is some something with Ravi's physique is not he looks like somebody punched him from the head, holding his waist and like shortened him by two inches in his midsection. The short. That, that's when I look at him. Is his torso is very short. That Tor that thing, you know, like the gap between his lower chest and his, it's 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 he's very stocky, you know. Yeah, no, he, I he's, he's got a great. It's like I can't put a finger on it, but it's he's got that that thing that missing. Yeah, top five maybe, but can he be top three and win the show? Big question mark, man. Big question. Mark. Yeah, yeah I, like he is, he's certainly yeah. not. Like, I mean, as I said, my top three men's physique guys in India right now, at number one, I would put uh, Rahul, not because he's our academy sponsored athlete. He's not my athlete. His coach is somebody else, right? Kuldeep is his coach. Kuldeep Yadav. Rahul would be my, my number one. Then it would be currently, um, because Lapreet is not competing for a, another year, so I'm not going to count Lapreet in it. Then second would be is as I said, Vardhan, if he brings his earlier form, last year form, and then Anik and then Amit is he's just on one show. It's hard to say unless we've seen him a few times. It's hard to say. So these are my top three guys. Out of the out of the current ones that we we've just seen. You know, I think these I are my top three guys. Hear that he his posing needs a lot of work. Like if he if he poses like this, it doesn't look good at all. But then um, I saw where is that pose right here. This he is what he needs to reproduce on stage because yeah. this. Yes, good. you are absolutely absolutely correct. You are absolutely spot Thank on. You. You're very you. very, very good. good. And his and his and his transition that when he does that Ventura pose, man, it looks he looks like a. Boy. He should not do that. I just that, that, that just looks hard. His stomach looks his stomach looks that big. In his transition. That's why like this pose looks good, right? Because I think it's and yeah. you know what? This is the new standard of men's physique posing. Like Joe Yeah, Purana, it is. Right? That was the older standard. People still hit it. If you have a smoke, like again, you have to have a structure to hit that pose. Some people do it. Yeah. Um, but this is the new standard for most guys. This is what they're doing to show their obliques off and halves. He has a great core. Yep. If this is what I'm looking at from like my head judge perspective. He looks actually really great. His legs doesn't look as small. I mean, it's just great. Yeah. But again, it's the yeah, that, that, as you said, the, 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 this this pose is the pose that he should be hitting. He should not be putting his hand on his on his hips. Head. Not at all. You hit this, you hit the bag, you go back. But I think it's a very tricky yogi for him to go to this posing. Do not show your weakness, which is your disproportionate kind of like the core and like all that. Stick to your uh, yay and then after the transition, be least the guy. Simple. It, if you if you if you're not you just stick stick to the basics keep it very simple hit yeah. your poses don't do anything fancy i would not yeah that's I think it that's the problem that a lot of indian athletes do that they try to make it fancy you guys don't make it fancy make it simple apne strength ko dikhao chat 20 second mein bahar jao to 10 second mein just hit it and 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 rahul and rahul needs to shave going on olympia on oh, the yeah. posture don't go with the beard man Man, shave, look good, look, get a good haircut, get a gel. Yo, those shorts, what are shorts pants here? Grey color, what are you wearing? Like, what the fuck is that? It, it's not so good. Oh my God, you should see Rahul's shorts, yeah. What the fuck was that? Like, grey, say. No, man, what are you doing, man? It's not so good. It's not so good. It's not so good. You're wearing those like gray shorts, man, which make you completely washes your out with sky blue. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think yeah, he, he needs to shave, get a nice haircut. Yeah, that I agree with. I think um, he needs to shave. Ravi Gabi, he looked better at the India show when he was shaved and then he brought this beard and like it looks so rough. Again, guys, I think this is one thing I want to touch base on. If you India, you compete in India, then it's okay. You keep your bird. Rakho, jitra muche rakhi hai, sab rakho, that is fine. But when you go to compete at international shows, again, you have to understand the standard. Top two, top three, what are you doing? You won't see them like that. So you'll be placed out. You have to look like those guys to be in that mix. And most guys, if you really... Yeah, know, absolutely. Or if you want to keep a beard, then keep it how Ryan Terry does it. He looks shaved, but he does not shave, but it's just very clean. 
Yeah, but you need to have beard like Ryan Terry, nah. When you don't have beard like Ryan Terry and face like him, then he's the only athlete. He's the only athlete. So, उसके अच्छे से देख लो, उसका कितना neat and clean उसको beard लगती है. And या या फिर आप or you are Iranian Iranian. वो उनकी बात अलग है. वो उनका अच्छा चलता है. You have to compete in Middle East, nah. But you have to compete. Up. इस शो में तो इन all those top five guys were not from Middle East. So, and your men's physique, you're not a bodybuilder in classic physique. So, please don't do that. क्योंकि उसमें फेस जज नहीं होता बट इसमें द प्रेजेंस काउंट्स सो यू आई थिंक यू आर राइट आई थिंक राहुल कैन जस्ट कम इन वेरी वेरी लाइक क्लीन शेव नाइस लाइक एंड ऑनेस्ट राइट लुक इट लुक मेक हिम लुक इवन ड्रायर इट वर्क इट वर्क या बट आई आई वाज लाइक वेरी इंप्रेस्ड विद राहुल्स फिजिक मैन आई वाज वेरी इंप्रेस्ड लाइक आई लुक रियली गुड आई मीन इन माय ओपिनियन ही एक्चुअली बीट्स अनिक इन दिस शो इन इन माय ओपिनियन राहुल शुड बी अहेड ऑफ अनिक अनिक Anik, I love Anik. Great guy, wonderful guy. Uh, I mean, on personal level, but objectively speaking, मेरे हिसाब से Rahul could have placed even seventh man. मुझे पता नहीं six seventh कौन बंदे थे. I don't know who who six or seventh was, but he could have easily um, beaten Anik quite easily. I think it was. See, here's one thing that I wanted to make sure keep. Uh, I brought it up. Rahul was not eighth in the beginning. He was not um, um, eighth place or ninth place. What was his final placing? Eighth or ninth? Ninth place. Anik was ninth. Ninth. Eighth. So ninth. I think he wasn't ninth, and in the beginning he was like around tenth place. But then when they um, did the finals, he moved up one spot, and he could have moved more spots. Yeah, he could have. उसकी थोड़ा सा अगर back. यार वो ही ना आप भुवन after top five, top six, they don't give a shit. Yeah, it does not matter. they don't care they just ha uh, 8th 9th year but it, it, this is what happened when we we also sit on the judges table 8th okay theek hai 8th isko 9th se dena 9th se do ya kaise hota hai this is not the olympia this is not the olympia anything out of the olympia only top 5 matter after that yeah koi fark nahi padta that is to really. think that's for oh, that's for your own personal chaining khushi ke liye baat lag raha hai pro show mein that's a very solid point they are not going to spend time on the guys that are outside of the first column and they spent their time on the yeah. first eight guys anik was in there let's be real but then they had to cut it down that's too many people to compare the physiques from and that final call out is what they really cared about like actually judge that final four or five yeah absolutely and, okay. and in olympia yeah you're right like and they judge those 15 guys like for sure especially the 10 because they go to the finals so those 10 guys they are make sure yeah. that they are the same But outside of that, like okay, fifteen ke baat to anyways, it's just like a pretty random thing, and it doesn't really they don't spend time. Yeah. So I think that. So what's the future for the award? What's the future of what? I mean, what's the future for these guys? Like, should they be competing in more shows now? Think, taking off season. I think we um the recommendation to cover that. Guys, we cover that, yeah. Let's let's start with like Rahul. Like I think for Rahul, I've said him before. And whenever I used to talk to him, like it's the same concept. I used to always tell him that um, he just needs to compete more. He needs to show up at a lot more shows and um, just get more um, exposure. And at the same time, like do, do the shows that he can win, and then just keep going. With um, and that that is also yeah. what's going to his posing. आपके जिम में आप पोजिंग करते हो वो अलग होती है एंड देन व्हेन यू स्टार्ट डूइंग योर पोजिंग इन ऑन द स्टेज इट गिव्स यू कॉन्फिडेंस स्टेज प्रेजेंस सो आप ज्यादा करोगे आप बेटर पोजे जाओगे देयर इज नो डाउट अबाउट दैट दैट्स राहुल आई थिंक वेरी टू अम पोजिंग आई थिंक होल्ड ऑन टू हिज पोजेस एंड कीप हिज पोजिंग रूटीन सिंपल इट हैज अ मल्टीपल पोजेस एंड लाइक ही डजंट होल्ड ऑन टू हिज पोजिंग सो ही शुड रियली वर्क ही नी या इज हिज पोजिंग प्रेजेंटेशन ही नीड्स टू गेट अ प्रोफेशनल कोच अम फॉर हिज पोजिंग Uh, he yeah. needs to consult other people. Like, yeah, I, I see. He can stick with his coach, no problems. But when yeah. it comes to presentation and all that, he needs to get 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 a specialist man. You know, no, you can't be doing everything, yeah. He's not a men's physique guy, so I don't think like, and he didn't help him with his posing, so I don't think he is the guy to go for his. Uh, But posing. I'm really impressed with even the amateurs activity. are good. Even getting some tips from some of the amateur guys that are great at posing. We'll just help him. It's not that hard. Just front and back pose to be really honest. But ha, a posing routine ki baaz zaroor hai. He does too much. Like, kitte usne ten year twelve poses set kiye the in his posing routine. Yeah. I don't know why he's doing that. Keep it simple. Just front and transition and back and then just leave. Front and back karo yeah. and then that's it. And then his he, like in this posing routine he hit yeah. like at least ten to twelve poses. Yeah. And so at that, least like he could have hold on to the poses at least so that at least he would have felt. Yes. Yeah. That is it. 
hit two poses, but then hold them. He's too fast. If you see like how fast he's moving, that's his third pose. That this is now fourth transition, then it's fifth. He didn't hold anything. None of the transitions were held. Now that's his that fifth. Look like you're confident on that's stage, the, right? Yeah. Now he's gonna do like that's the sixth, and then hand, there's no holding. So I think that's it. I think it's pretty simple. It shouldn't be his front pose is good now. His back pose, I think Aaron Banks just adjusted his back pose too. I saw it and I saw like um, what he made a change is perfect. That's how I would have probably done too. His back pose is now great with Aaron uh, Aaron changing his posing. Um, with Anik, I think um, he just has to uh, keep competing as well. I think Mera Ye Daiga, like he just needs to keep competing and maybe bring out his back um, depth. Focus just on that. So front is so dominating and that even if he doesn't train it as much as he his back, he'll be good. So I think if he just takes some time to improve it, um, if he doesn't want to compete, if he doesn't want to compete, just take that time, go to the India portion. He can win the India portion. With back, I feel like he has to go for like proper uh, deep tissue or something like that. Because whenever I see, he, he, he's holding on to one shoulder. Oh, yeah, and the muscle, like he needs more muscle. He needs pop to his back. Rahul so back, in order to build muscle, back he's back training back. heavy. He's training heavy, but he has to recover, right? He has to have that mind muscle connection first. So I feel like that's probably what it, whatever it is. I just think like he needs to focus on back development to match his front. <coughs> I think in 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 back, I think in back, Rahul had the exactly probably the exactly. top two back yeah. in the, in the entire show, man. That's entire right. show, his back, Rahul's back. Was Fuck really man, good. only Carlos was only Carlos was touching his back, man. Well, so, Aaron, besides that, fuck, man. I think Aaron's and City. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> but here's the thing: as you rightly pointed out, it is not just about thickness. Mm -hmm. Aaron's bank is very; it's perfect. Oh, not so too much muscle, easy. not too less, just enough. Men's but in terms of size, man, it. Yeah, in terms of size, yeah. Yes, Ra yeah. You know, you know. You you know you know you know you know what Rahul needs to do in all honesty, he yeah. needs to do Chiron. He needs to stop fucking training. He needs to stop training his back. He needs to stop training his arms. He only needs to work on his rear desk. He has this front and nothing at the at the medial and the back. He has no medial delt and he has no rear delt. His anterior delt is very dominant. He needs to work on his delts. Not yeah. train his back, yeah. not train his arms, not do fucking anything, and just, just work on his posing. His chest is enough. Arms. Everything else is already on size, and yet he needs to do the pattern thing. And I told it's you, there. And it's I there. The it's part, there. He just. I think for the most part he does though. He goes to all these, um, you know, Vashno Devi and temples and all that. He lives a pretty good off season. I don't think he lives the, and it's good. Yeah. <laughs> it's good because allow him to compete. It's good. So just up the prep card, like yep. grow, train and you know all the drugs in off season. They don't be using drugs. You don't need to grow. He doesn't need to grow. No, nah, he doesn't need to, man. He's he's good. He he's 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 there. So he's the, he's one Rahul, of the top guys in India now. Yeah, they they need to, Rahul. If you look at placings, Rahul is definitely like amongst all the guys that are living in India. Like he is definitely the best because of his placings. He's come second, um, second, ninth, and then he's come. Agar uh, what he came eighth, ninth. If you really call, if you, agar aap sari placings ko dekho, kinki against for second aaya, wo dekho, kinki against ninth aaya, then yeah, he is the best athlete right now. That legend. Here's here's my here's my here's my top five guys to look out for um in um 2025. Okay, this is my predictions. Top five guys to look out for in 2025. Rahul, Anik, yeah, Rahul, Anik, Vardhan. Lapreet and the big dog Bhuvan, man, hit the fucking top. <laughs> Brother, I'm, you are the top, man, you're the top. And then it's Bhuvan and then these four guys. And then uh, if uh, Raja and Delta and these guys, they bring up their uh, physiques. But mm -hmm. my money for 2025 would be these four guys and, and, and you. Like Rahul, Vardhan, Anik, Lapreet. These four, if Lapreet brings up, adds five kilos. Then he'll be fucking second to you. And like in terms of like you are a clear front runner. Clear front runner, then it's gonna be second, third, fourth, fifth. But um, other guys is gonna be interesting. 
I agree with you on that front. And um, I think with me and Lovepreet, we both need size. We need to keep growing. And the fun thing about growing is if you're smart, he has you to make a lot of, give you a lot of guidance. For me, I realized that the experience that I've got, what do I have to do, how do I have to strategize and my shows. Ko. And it just makes sense to gain the size, evaluate yourself, gain it again, hit your weight cap, then go more. From the weight cap, I, and then, I, 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 mean, I have been, I had been saying that for the last three years. Said, Brother, this dude needs to fucking take an off season. He needs to yeah. take an off season. I was so happy when you did take the father. The fuck, thank God. You know, I, I was think, very happy you took the off season. You know, I, I was, I, I was probably the happiest of all. Harry, I think if I, I told you earlier too, like I like what you said about. I'm gonna go back to that where you said that Jola Gopi compete kar rahe hain, jinhone India show compete karne ke baad ye wala show kiya, unke jo art hafte, ya saath hafte, ya jo bhi unhone apna time frame diya, they using that time frame on prep, using those drugs, not using that time to grow, is a big thing and a long thing. I kind of like yeah. maybe miscalculated this a little bit. I did not want to do the Olympia last year. I was not in a good state mentally. And I also knew I have a, uh, I have a um, science issue. But those four months, in my mind, I was just thinking, that four months, hai, it's okay, right? Like, I mean, I'm, I'm, it's okay, let's just, you know, do our best. I know. Now I'm trying to think about it. I'm like, yeah, I know second. what you mean. Four months, ka, if I use the rebound in that time, guaranteed there would have been two or three pounds of muscle tissue added if not two maybe let's say two pounds up when you take as an advanced lifter as an advanced guy on like you know PDs and everything two pounds up to just charm in all day that's a it's, it's it's a thing like it didn't do me any good to do the olympia anyways but that 10 two pounds of muscle would have done me a lot better for the next year and the years after so i agree with you six to eight weeks be coffee or 16 weeks of hot hotel so if I could change anything about last year, I would not change anything except the fact that I should not have done the Olympia. I should have used those four months, gain the muscle. Okay, fuck everybody else who's talking about whatever they want to talk about. My thing is to and, yeah, and you could have done this Olympia. And then you could this, have done this Olympia then. And then this year, I'm like, then I could have done this year's Olympia around this time, August ke time, uh, you know, September ke time. And then grand view of things, I'm bigger. I am, um, you know, I've took a time off, and maybe this year I would have been better than what I was last year. I would have been, obviously, like. But, summer. but in 2025, you have got a very good chance to be the top 15, if not top 10, That's definitely the Olympia. Point. You That's will, you, point. you will win some. You will, you will win some big shows in 2025. You well, win I, some big shows, man. I I'm pretty, pretty. I already pretty know which show I'm competing, um, and I've kind of like. For my whole year, I've already like decided what is my but that's what it is. I do want to make sure that uh, the size difference is my and the Lafpreet is in You have to close that gap. And for me, if I think that I still haven't closed that gap, that's totally fine. I'll see how where I fare. I'll do this again. This is bodybuilding. I realized this after a time. And I wish I learned this. And that's okay. About 23, 24. Ka tha. Bodybuilding is bodybuilding. This is not that compete You build your physique for eight months, do a prep for four months, and you repeat this process. If you have, if you don't have the size, you do that for 16 months, not eight, 16 months. And then you do the four months and then you repeat the process. I realize okay, so now I know okay. We have this much muscle, we have gained love the 10 pounds, same thing. Take that much time off, gain the muscle. Raja, exact same thing for you. I've been saying this for a long time. They say it's about posing yep. for you. It is posing, but you also need so to have to a lot more size. You have to max the fuck. So yeah, you have yeah. to be at a point where it's like you're over the weight cap and you have to deplete hard to be able to make the weight. Up Look at Sadiq. He has to deplete, yeah. make the weight, and still he couldn't make it. And he still has guys that look bigger than him. Right? He's it's crazy, big, man. Level. Tampa, there's no guarantee he will win it, but there's a good chance he will. But there are guys that look bigger than him and he's already maxed out. He has to deplete yep. so hard to make weight. Up you and me and Lovepreet and Anik and Rahul, we have to compete with guys like that. Lapri has got five kilos for with like 12 pounds for his weight cap. 12 pounds to be gained, plus you probably 
add kitna i think maybe 4 pounds you can probably add more depletion ke sath yeah maybe 3 4 pounds of muscle you yeah. can add more that's that, it yeah muscle for a guys like us yeah. we kar rahe hain that have been training for so long and especially they and you and you both are ectomorphic you and yes, love you both are ectomorphs like that's ravi cool. and ravi and these guys are into that's another problem for you guys that's it, it makes it harder thing. Yes, that is a very good point. That yes, our that game we have to do. Same like Raja and Delta, all these guys are ect- ectomorphs. Like you have Vardhan and Rahul and all these guys, they're all endomorphs. So it, it's that much harder for guys like Delta, Raja, you, Lapri. Anito is a classic mesomorph. Like he has no. Problem. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Classic me- me- meso endo. Ra- Rahul, yeah, meso yeah. endo. These guys are all in it. But you guys like De- Ryu, Delta, a- a- Raja. So, but I learned, and this is something I learned later, and you know, a boy, yeah, experience that you learn, you can pass it on to other people. As an actor, Chal koi na. Listen, listen. Yeah. You 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 need you need some. Listen to me. If you need some to bounce the ideas, you yeah. know where to find me, brother. Yeah, no, Hit me I, up. No, All I I know. <laughs> Um, you're you're, you're a brother, yeah. I love you. I love you, yeah. You're you're a brother. That's why I'm I'm happy that you know, like we are, and this is the whole reason for this kind of podcast. Yeah. It's like build connections, and maybe exchange. I I I I I I love your honesty. You're competing in US. You come Canada. You want to place. You want to know what the thing is. We are building a community, and that's the most. Important. Yeah, man. Yeah, absolutely, so absolutely. Yeah, as an actor, more what he said, I've read. Like, Totally agree with him. And what I have learned is, as an ectomorph, you cannot do what mesomorphs do. Up last year, Harry, yeah. you know what yeah. my thing yeah. was? I, when I talked to my coach Dom at the time, um, what I wanted to do was, ki, I'll stay extremely lean after the Olympia. So I stayed on maintenance calories and about eight percent body fat. So what my planning was that like, I'll grow into the prep instead of you know trying to do a rebound and then doing all that. No, I was like, पहले अपना जो अपना PCT time है, lean रहके Crazy diet, crazy art, so all the things will be. And then when I introduce all the PDs, I'm going to blow up, and I'm going to grow into the show. And we tried to do that. I was very lean. I blew up. I look great on the prep. But when the last few three four weeks came, and I realized that I have lost the size. And what that's I what I was saying earlier. A forty-five, forty-five minutes ago, I said the biggest challenge for you is going to be how much of this fucking great-looking looking tissue now is going to be able to hold. And it's hard as an ectomorph because what I tried to do would have it's hard. Very. Would have worked for a lot of guys. And many Jadi they said that what I'm trying to do is what most of the black guys do. Yeah, most of the African American like those guys that have mesomorph genes do. It doesn't work for me, and I learned it. And that's why I'm telling you, Raja and Lovepreet. I mean, he knows through uh, Harry. You cannot do what these guys are doing. Your physiques are in a way. Our physiques are in a way that we need solid off season, solid muscle, and let it hold. टिश्यूर <laughs> I'm I'm genuinely genuinely excited for you. I'm I'm very excited for you. I'm genuinely excited because I see your updates, I see your photos. I'm yeah. like yeah, it looks touch touch wood everything is looking perfect man. It's look coming together nicely. Touch wood, you know. You stay yeah. healthy, stay injury injury free. Um good mental good in your mental space, you know. Don't let anybody interfere with your mental health, you know. And you you you're good man. You you're good. That's that that was my main point. Raja what Raja Raja Sorry, then go on go on. I, I, um, no, I, I, I was just asking, what is Raja's plans? Well, I just want to know what what was Raja, what's Raja's plans for next twelve months. Raja, who's your coach? Raja, who's your coach? He coaches himself. Probably myself. Brother, come fucking talk to me, man. Fucking hell, what are you doing? Let's let's fucking team up. Let let me help you take your physique to the next level. We gotta talk, brother. You know, Raja and I, we we did, we did a short trip together fucking ages ago. Like we we never completed the the prep age two thousand nineteen with the eighteen we did a short prep and then after that we did but anyway over Raja and I we go I I love Raja man like he he's like he um, I mean I'm close I, with all these guys like I, Delta I Raja which is why like since the beginning when he turned bro like I just resonated well with him because of our mindsets being similar and he's also not that. I'm not that word used. 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 I'm not that word
छपरी नहीं राजा इज अ गुड के राजा एंड वेरी वेरी नाइस का वेरी पोलाइट he is young and he is driven and he is hungry and a lot of these guys are yeah. actually humble and yeah. uh, same thing hum sare aapke saath sab ka same hi cheez hai we need to gain our size what he said is right and he can rahul are almost maxed out they just have to make a little bit adjustments that's easier for them which is why rahul uh, raja when i was saying <coughs> can actually do the india show and still make the improvements our physiques cannot improve in what kitna char mahine kitna teen mahine reh gaye hain sare teen char mahine reh gaye right but if depending on what is like obviously peds and what everything was he can improve in those in that time frame he can grow between the shows mesomorphs can do that black guys do it all the time i see them here um asian guys joe monji was my teammate jeremy potter you know these guys improve between shows by adding tissue that's so these guys are fucking freaks that's crazy right that's like, it's insane like, joe is like he's a he's a guy that puts on muscle between the shows then i see i mean um, there was this guy who just um, retired from uh, men's physique jonas these guys are max the hell out itni muscle hai oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. between the shows um, again but when give a structure nahi hai you me luffy we got structures but yeah. when you feel it's hard to beat our physique I would actually you are a lot younger I mean yeah you are a lot 26 right so you 27 27 yeah still you are a lot younger I would say that to you if it takes 2 years take 2 years put on dense yeah. muscle because otherwise wo naya muscle jo add karte ho na it just you lose it pretty fast when you do that sure, yeah I have experienced it I have experienced it or I, what I was telling you is if you were to compete and you do one year of off season do just one show no matter what yeah. do one what happens is when you do multiple is when you start losing the muscle mm-hmm. yeah so what i yep. do is like what i plan is i go off for a year and then maybe cut down a little bit short cut and then compete in one show see where i stand and then go off so that the rebound helps me to put on like few pounds of muscle lean tissue i would recommend 16 months i'm sure harry you agree with that oh fucking 100% man 100 fucking percent 100% man 16 months don't do less than that i'm telling you yeah. you 16 months bulk then prep 100% no, I've man i've had enough experience in competing overseas competing in india i've seen it all so i have yeah. this time when i put on the muscle so it's going to be a lot easier for me when i cut down i have the experience right now most guys i haven't even competed i've competed in eight pro shows as yeah, a turning pro so yeah so i know how to handle uh, travel and then also peak so i think that makes you the second uh most uh, experienced competitor yeah. yeah that's a big thing from india yeah yeah that's what i'm saying i think i've done what like 25 shows 25 shows in total in my life you have done probably more than 50 14 15 by now pro shows total. i've done eight shows total total, total. total shows is done probably 40 50 man Yeah, I've done like thirty, thirty, thirty. I think thirty. Wow! So you've you've done even more. That's that's crazy. That is Ra- Raja Raja Raja's stage presentation is fucking awesome, man. He smiles. He like poses beautiful. And same with Delta. These guys posing is awesome, man. Uh, really, really. Me, really. really. I'm Rahul. I'm telling Rahul that this is what he needs: experience on stage. Is there any other way? No, 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 yar, no, no. It's I, I slightly disagree. experience of stage ni yaar pehle ghar pe practice karke jao yaar you know to ab book kar you are not think you think ki wo apna nahi kar raha practice nahi nahi kar raha hai galat kar raha hai aapne ye bhi strategy nahi kiya ki maine shave karke jana hai maine shorts kaun si pehnne yaar pata hai you know way my frustration comes ki it's like i i can taste it wo banda deserve karta hai acha hai ab chote chote cheezon se reh rahe ho वो गुस्सा उस बात का है फ्रस्ट्रेशन उस बात की है चलो कोई और बंदा हो ना जो मतलब डिजर्व भी नहीं करता है उसका नहीं पर्सन नॉट डिजर्विंग यू यू डोंट गिव अ शिट इट्स लाइक लाइक व्हेन नो थिंग्स 
can and they do make a difference and these are little things and you're not doing you know my pet peeve bhuvan you will never see my athletes on stage not posing well and not present i don't let my athletes even fucking choose their own shots if i don't if i'm not happy with it with my top guys exactly, i want to know what you wearing exactly how i do and it's not even my clients i'm just talking about yeah message karke baat bhi kar lena so you cannot go doing this wrong stuff back front you know karte rehte hain you have to do the see rahul rahul mere paas coaching ke liye aaya tha last year theek hai जब भी इसने मुकेश को छोड़ा भी नहीं लेफ्ट मुकेश ही केम टू मी बिफोर ही वेंट वेंट टू टू कुलदीप आई स्टार्टेड वर्किंग ऑन पोजिंग आई डिड इज प्लान आल्सो देन ही डिसाइड कि नहीं मुझे आओ मुझे कुलदीप भैया के पास जाना मैं अच्छी मैं आई 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 नो कॉल वी आर गुड टर्म्स I speak, I have spoken to Kuldeep once yeah. uh, he was at the show June June mein last year went up and said hello to him jitni meri hai i i teen char saal pehle i gave him a shout out also ke he is one of the top coaches coaches in india about 3 4 years ago yeah but lekin yaar meri ab ab main men's physique ki posing अगर मुझे नहीं आती तो मैं किसी और को बोलूंगा अगर आती है तो मैं करा देता हूं अपने को लवप्रीत की पोजिंग कितनी हमने चेंज करके मैंने उसको बोला कि यार वी नीड टू यार ही इज गुड ही टू वर्क ऑन इज आई एग्री विद यू बिकॉज़ आई थिंक दिस इज अ कांसेप्ट दैट इज लैकिंग इन इंडिया ये मैं अभी बोलूंगा बिकॉज़ यहां पे क्या होता है कि देयर आर पोजिंग कोचेस और यहां पे नहीं ब्राज़ील में ऐसा होता है पोजिंग कोच अलग होता है एंड पोजिंग कोच रेगुलर कोच भी हो सकता है देयर इज नो डिफरेंस पोजिंग कोच हां हां आई एम सो नो बट दैट इज नो सॉरी Make your posing routine and good. And at pro level, amateur chalo chal jata hai. Amateur wale nahi bhi kare chal jata hai. Pro level pe, girls included, girls ki bhi posing coaches hote hain. Aapka coach alag. Uh-huh. It should be fine for you to recommend your guys. Like if I want to coach a classic physique competitor, which I am right now in Alberta, my local show, I'm competing, uh, having a classic physique competitor. I'm like, this is the guy. Go to him for classic physique posing. मुझे सेम अपने चेक इन से बोल अपने पोजेस भेजो आई एम नॉट दैट ग्रेट व्हाई विल आई ट्राई टू शो यू समथिंग दैट आई नो आई एम नॉट ग्रेट गुड इनफ इज नॉट गुड इनफ आपका वो एक जो आपकी आप सी दैट्स द थिंग विद पोल राहुल लाइक ही गॉट सो मच क्रिटिसिज्म फॉर हिज पोजिंग व्हिच कोच शुड बी द वन दैट शुड टेक इट टू हार्ट कि मेरा एथलीट है यार क्या गड़बड़ हो गई कि मैंने आई कुड नॉट डू दिस सिंपल थिंग कि हर कोई क्रिटिसाइज से पोजिंग के लिए कर रहा है इट्स योर गाय इट्स योर रिस्पांसिबिलिटी एट द वेरी एंड एंड पता है एंड में अल्टीमेटली यू नो व्हाट हैपेंस nobody talks about the posing coach the all the kudos and the credit goes to your normal coach only posing coach ko koi nahi puchta you know what hey, that is the issue with the and that should give you a lot of security that should yeah. give you a lot of security security of the coaches ki agar aap kisi aur ko lekar aayenge to hamara client le jayega ya usko boom to credibility ho jayegi are agar thodi bahut mil bhi gayi to kya ho gaya your you got him there posing bhi to ek art hai so what if some guy gets a little bit of uh, credibility on posing so what credit yeah big deal yeah kya ho gaya kya ho gaya like normally just says like this is a very normal thing and we have to accept see even that. even with even with lovepreet he has a, a, a posing coach in the us and by the name of that unchain so, physique so he consults him periodically mike, mike uh, uh, yeah mike yeah, yeah mike mike so mike and um, I, i can't remember his last name um, uh, unchain physiques but yeah forget about you that. know so he, he bounces ideas with him people have different trainers and, and um, coach like training coach and then nutrition coach yeah it's the same with same with love love preach trainer is somebody else his posing coach is somebody else i do his nutrition and his drugs that's, that's it i do his that's the problem <laughs> that's so every aspect i think he has a training coach then he coaches himself and then posing is good at so he doesn't need it similarly for me like i take posing advice that i've gone to omar i've had both with ryan i've both with you know there's this guy he's a very big bodybuilding coach um i forgot his name k center stage that he's in uh, vegas who does oh, yeah, yeah, i i know i know i know the, i, I know you talking about i know who you talking about i know what his name but i consulted him last year i also went to mike last year i have consulted with so many guys in posing not that they are a coach doesn't matter they, man it all helps kya jata hai unse pooch ke apna sara accept karke aage badh lo yeah overseas lot of all the athletes and coaches talk with each other in india people are very um, insecure that's the thing that is the big thing i think that is what happened with rahul and it's just like i think that we just as coaches jitne bhi india mein hai there is nothing to be insecure about yeah you're right people here that they meet each other they take pictures they go to lunches they go to dinners all the coaches sit together it's i have not seen that happen in yeah. india yahan pe art coaches ek saath dinner pe jaate hain olympic se pehle jo bhi hain jo men's physique ke coaches the sare sare mike ariel yeah. ryan omar and there's one or two more 
They're all sitting together before Olympia and having dinner. So what happened? Yeah. And all the actions are going to be together. They all... Yeah, man. It's... You talk here. How it matters, man. You have to have a pass and you have to have a It's like, oh my God. Like, you took my client away. Like, you are this, you are that. <laughs> That has to change. Yeah. I think it was a good, uh, good episode. I think we covered everything just for the Dubai show. So that was a good one. Um, yeah, no, I enjoyed it. Um, I, I just, I just hope um, um, people take my comments. Uh, they're only related to their physiques, nothing to do with people's persons. Yeah. And as I said, it's an expensive sport. It's an expensive sport. Paisa lagta hai, shape kharab hoti hai. If I'm telling you, you should. Uh, if I'm saying that Rahul should have done four or five shows coming to Dubai show, that's for his benefit. Now he's missed out on a window. Now he's going to have to travel to Europe, America, big shows, very difficult. You spend all this time, you come to stage after 12 months a year and you do one show. What's the point of it? Jijo should have switched off. Um, uh, Ravi should have switched off. Lavi should have switched off. All these guys should have switched off. Chalo, Rahul, he prepped for this show. I can understand he... Even though it's a wrong choice, chalo still. But I mean, there's no. You know what? What I find is, uh, Bhuvan, these guys they might have, like, say, Ravi has the best coach, George. But they, I don't think there is any real communication happening where coach and athlete are talking and discussing and planning shows. Like Lovepeet and I and all my guys who are top guys, we talk like a lot. Okay, which show? Like Chetanya messaged me. I want to do December. I said, no, brother, we can't. So there's this. I, it is. It, I feel these guys are they just? They have no idea what the fuck they're doing. I'm sorry to say there is. It's this illogical steps. Jo show करने चाहिए थे. It's the pressure. You know how in in India, अभी हम लोग यही बात कर रहे थे ना सर पे जब आपको चढ़ा देते हैं आप pro बन गए. अब आपसे expectations आप compete नहीं करोगे तो फिर आपको लोग उल्टा सुनाएंगे. आपके sponsors आपसे बोलेंगे. आपके लोग. There's so many things happening that you don't. You lose track of what is important. You, you, you are coming from a point as a coach but when you as a competitor when you turn pro you feel like a superman yeah. you just came yeah. like you got all the power super powers because of and the first the... two three shows yeah. will not make a difference in your mind ki aap haar gaye hain it's like ab main aur mehnat karunga ab main aur i'll push harder i'll push harder that takes time for you to like realize do you do you do you do you know an interesting fact phil heath qualified for his first olympia and he didn't compete He said, "I'm not going to compete. I'm going to fucking come back bigger." He came back bigger after qualifying for the Olympia. He didn't compete in his first Olympia. He came next. He said, "No, I'm I'm not big enough." He goes, "I'm not big enough. I'm not going to." And look, and that's that's uh, Hani. 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 To, Hani told him. Hani told him, "Don't you you're not going to do this Olympia." Phil wanted to do. Hani told him, and he listened to Hani. You know why I love I like Hani as the best coach. Nobody in the game. Nobody in the industry is a smarter technician than Hani. Hani knows in which shows he needs to put his athlete. And I didn't think that Chris Bumstead could improve from when he joined Hani. But fuck, okay. man, he did improve. He's it's amazing. Crazy. He's a crazy tactician. To me, a mark of a good coach is how good of a strategist you are. How good your strategy is. How good your tactician you are. picking the shows which show when who's competing who's not competing what are our chances how much money are we going to put in this show we were, like i was happy chetanya didn't qualify for the olympia because it would have cost him 10 lakh rupees to come fucking 25th yeah. what's the fucking point of it man you know so i was happy in a way he didn't call it even cost costed me 5 lakhs to go So I was like, okay, good. You know, not a bad thing. I, I, I'm so, glad you mentioned that. Last year, when I India Pro Show, I did it because it was a free trip for me. I did not have to. I didn't have to spend a dollar. If I got me, and please, I, and that was, and also that you didn't because your sponsors paid for you, not the show. I just so, wanted to add that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so important. नहीं तो सब बोलेंगे इसको नहीं तो सब बोलेंगे पैसा देके बुलाए इसको. हाँ. Relationship with Shiva. So I wanted to add. वैसे दिए. I mean, believe what you want, but the fact of the matter is, I was in shape. I was. I did a show a week before. I wanted to compete in US. अगर मेरा वो नहीं होता, that I had to be present at the show for my sponsors. मैं you मैं why would I spend dollars to compete in a show that I know I made not exactly. win? I would have done a show here and I would have qualified regardless. Parallel India show, I agree. Like there was there was exactly. a reason to do that. But this this next India shows, all of these shows, what's the point? 
so that's what everybody should be doing like do what is good for your like finances too check it tabhi aapke paas like house house over you think don't waste money you don't make enough money as a company nah, man money uh, and health health yeah. health yeah. Pe- you know people need to start friend. valuing their health so i i wanted to add to that harry i think we yahi main pehle bola tha jab raja ko we got in mental center what he's talking about health he means yep. health physically and he means health mentally the yeah. best decision i took yeah. is not to compete you know up until now because how i was mentally up until i would say what um, may june my i am on a whole different level now mentally than what i was up until may from november to may i was not doing well mentally it was on my physical uh, physical that is all good yeah. but mental aspect yeah. thing is okay jab aap bar bar compete i mean raja might be similar because he's done so many shows by now i mean you know harry i mean raul afrid must be talking to about all of this stuff you keep competing keep competing physical to like hey mental bhi to hai you are it's, it's hard man lot of sacrifice so, right? you go in with so much pressure yeah no there's so, I, I there's so much pressure to do well and let's be real the the drugs do affect you like aapke hormones yeah. up down up down ho rahe hain it's good to take a little bit of just time off get yourself back mentally nahi nee, yaar and also also like especially for somebody like lovepreet who hypes himself up and talks yeah, himself yeah. up and all that yeah. you going with so much so much pressure yeah. It's like and you don't do well you come fucking fifth or sixth you're like ha itna bakwas kar raha tha aage na haath mein aage na pancho coach ko bhi gale pad rahi hai usko bhi pad rahi hai it's not easy yeah, man it's not you know you cop it from everywhere aur yaar saale bol dena bol dena as an athlete to aapko you have to recover you have to get back on your two feet it's a big process but yeah. so mental fuck athlete, man it's hard work it's and hard work hey you realize how many guys are now like having problems with depression and they're actually suicides are increasing in body yeah. For same reason, it's crazy. Too much isolation. It's not a. It's not a sport which is also a social sport. So we have to also take into consideration that this hard thing is called health care or balance. And balance. Yeah, my my athletes, my athletes have called me at two o'clock in the morning, crying with suicidal yeah. fucking talks, yeah. man. At two yeah. o'clock in the morning, I'm sitting talking to these guys. Like yeah. last last. Last time I was last time in पिछले पिछले शो में पिछले शो में last in the last podcast people were just saying कि I was on my phone I was dealing with a client having a breakdown why am I not my phone on this time अपने फोन पे अभी क्यों नहीं I was spending time उसको अब trying to console him कि भाई तू रुक तू कुछ नहीं होता it's okay we'll manage so you know you are, it, it's not easy editors bhi nahi lifestyle trends ka main to dekh raha hu i deal with them abhi every day uh-huh. they pick up i have to get them back i'm dealing with this one client he lives in vancouver he has just had a break up isse pehle aur the jiske father pass away ho gaye they don't want to follow stuff they are all over the place as a coach you're not just the kya ho sakta hai guide on health and you're a therapist you're a ther- you're a therapist also you rolled into one relationship counselor therapist advisor father mother brother girlfriend boyfriend everything rolled into one everything all together so i think it's a lot of stuff raja how how do you how do uh, raja how do you manage it you 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 married you got a girlfriend what's your status i may be like uh, next year maybe yeah, i'll yeah. get married hmm. okay yeah, you got a girlfriend or arranged yeah. marriage yeah yeah arranged marriage or girlfriend he has a girlfriend okay oh good oh wow nice yeah. probably next year I utilize this. So you want to have a finish all, finish all. You live with your parents. Uh, Raja, you live with your parents. Yeah. And Raja is going to be a yeah. baby planning as well. Baby know. planning as well. Um, that I haven't like uh, put my thought into like maybe Not later. Yet. Not yet. Yeah. Not yet. You're a young guy. How old are you? Twenty-seven. Oh, you're a young guy, man. No rush. Yeah. Ah, that's good. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, I'm excited my... for you. That that's good. <laughs> for with my blood work right right after my june uh, india show i did my uh, blood work everything seems fine because i don't go high on drugs so yeah. that's the only re- i've been competing like for 5 years now uh, i think 4 years yeah 4 years now without a proper off season i take off for like 7 or 8 months Just, yet i don't push drugs as much that gives me that longevity in this industry but i i i, I, I yeah. can see that that is the reason yeah. why you're going you keep going yeah 
and uh, i really didn't want to compete because my, i was hit mentally i was not there mentally so no point no point in uh, like i didn't no like no no, no, no i i agree man health of it, it might be fine it's, it's the same thing exact same thing with viraja physical health there is no problem no injury no hormonal no nothing mental health was like all over the place and i have to get myself back it was maybe recovery okay just like yeah yeah recovery exactly. so i have to recover up i feel up but then now i feel if i wanted to do a prep i can actually do a prep now but i will not i'm not doing it right now but i can abhi tak to mera mindset tha hi nahi i mean thinking about like you know doing 60 minutes of cardio and this and that and there was i could not so i know what you mean yeah so i'm off drugs completely so Yeah. If at all I want to start, I could have started my off season, but I'm off drugs for like at least like eight weeks, and then get get all my mindset back first. That way, like everything will improve. Yeah, it's, it's not really only about what happens when you're mentally like a hundred percent, and then what happens when you're not. It's like yeah, your body very respond, true. Your body like responds like you feel invincible, but your body also feels invincible. Invincible. Oh, but agar your mind nahi hai, then you just like ah. So when you when you take those uh, Machiavelli motivation or like all those Nicandro motivation, all those seriously, you want to isolate yourself. You think like, oh, you have to live in a box. When Jay Cutler says you got to live in a box, doesn't mean like you can't nah. like talk to your parents. You yeah. have to go and come back, and that's how you become a champion mentality. Yeah, all the prep, I understand. That prep is a very short time period over the course of a year. Yeah. Right? So that's they're talking yeah, about that. That's that's only about like four or six weeks. But here, no. That's why people fall into depression and then suicidal think, suicidal thoughts, because of the pressure of the Indian, uh, yeah, you you know, the big boss. It's all entertaining for them. It's all entertaining for the crowd here. So they put they are extra pressure for all the, the athletes here. The athletes are already under pressure, and yeah. uh, with all the crowd and with all the social media and all of that stuff, and now the YouTubers with the uh, rankings, placing, saying he has not improved, he has not that. There are even more pressure for them to like show up, and that's why a lot of guys are not competing in the Indian Indian platform. They don't want to compete right before Indian stage because either way they're going to be screwed. I think yeah, not that's sure. a good point you made. That I think one of the reasons Rahul did not compete this year was also that. वो छोड़ते नहीं हैं क्योंकि वो जाते जब आप इंडिया शोज़ में करते हो बाहर के करते हो नहीं 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 राहुल नहीं 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 राहुल डिंग कंपीट इन इंडिया सिंपली मैं आपको बताता हूं सर नहीं नहीं गुवन आर राहुल डिंग कंपीट इन इंडिया प्योरली बिकॉज़ हिज कोच इज डेड अगेंस्ट शेम ही इज डेड अगेंस्ट द इट नॉट बिकॉज़ ऑफ द यूट्यूबर्स ही डिंग कंपीट द को द कोच इज डेड अगेंस्ट शेरू एंड इवन आफ्टर द दिस एंड एंड दैट एंड एंड यू नो व्हाट ही इज वेल विद इन हिज राइट वो इफ फ्रीडम ऑफ स्पीच है भैया अपना ओपिनियन आप दे सकते हो ठीक है उसको नहीं पसंद है वो बोल देता अच्छी बात है एटलीस्ट वो बंदा गाट्स रखता है बोलने की ठीक है ना उसको नहीं पसंद उसने बोल दिया दैट्स फाइन सो रीजन व्हाई राहुल दिन कंपीट इन इंडिया के ऑफकोर्स कुलदीप अभी यार इस शो के आफ्टर दिस शो आल्सो कुलदीप मेड द कमेंट ना कि अब इसके बाजू बड़े नहीं लगे आपको राइट right? तो उसने उनको तो उसकी तो लगती है ना शेरू के साथ तो इसलिए इंडिया नहीं वो खेला वो you know and and that's fine to at least you know it second aaya tha wo the problem was the balu badi pe second aaya tha it's like ninth and second mein to fark hai we have to run real and 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 look you know and pata hai kya hamare liye aasan hai yahan baith ke comment karna but lekin jiske lagti na dukhti uski hai so i can understand his coach's frustration also yaar seconds and ninth ja rahe ho khoon to kholta hai yaar gussa to aata hai i can understand you know but But what do you do part of this sport huh? i think i <coughs> the, the, the you just have to accept that this is how it's going to be one day you'll be second and third with the same package you might be say seventh or eighth and it'll change within a week it might change within two weeks that's the subjectivity of the sport yeah. learn to embrace it and move forward yeah anyways guys so, so what do you do i mean yeah No, no, but yar, pata, pata kya? But nee, pata, it, it's good. Yar. We need all sorts of people in the industry. People who speak up, people who like I speak my mind in my own way. Kuldeep speaks his mind in his own way. Athletes yeah. speak their mind in their own way. Har banda ka apna apna tarika hai bolne ka. Kahi kuch topics pe bolte hain, kahi kuch topics pe bolte hain. This is what keeps. Abhi humne char baatein ki hai. To aap to aap dekhna kal ko bawal ho jayega ki Harry Sundu ne ye bol diya, Bhuva ne ye bol diya. Matlab ki un pata ye matlab ki hater hain. Wo kal bawal. Ah yeah it's okay
that's life you know what do you do they also need they also need content now unka channel mein bhi to kuch chahiye unko yeah that's okay how you do it anyways guys chalo ji that that was a good chat that yeah, was really yeah. raja you want to say something yeah at the end of the day these are all our thoughts like but uh, yeah as an athlete or like you got to decide for yourself like if you want to compete you going to compete but we are coming from a point where like we are sharing experiences and thoughts where like we went through this path and this is what we feel about it and if at all if, if that could help you in any way you might take it but at the end of the day <coughs> the ball is in your court like, you got to decide point. raja i think i'm going to close out on this one ending um, statement that we may be athletes that are competing with the athletes so we may have coaches that are coaching some of these athletes but when we are critiquing or saying anything about the placing and all it is strictly coming off of experience and nothing else and wanting to like add value to them and the industry in general but then if you go across and wanting the best for them for them wanting the best for them the other a lot of the channels and youtubers that have no experience about anything of this and they are just spreading negativity and stuff just understand where they are coming from and where somebody like us or like anybody literally anybody that has experience in the industry where they are coming from because okay we may have critiqued some of these athletes and aaj humne kiya critique and all that it's strictly of experience it's strictly wanting best for them nothing else no drama no like we are not trying to grow the channel or anything whereas if you don't have experience in the industry you're sitting at home and you're eating a chole bhature and then you're commenting on other athletes well maybe you need a little more experience of understanding what the sport is about but being in it you may be a coach it's fine you may be an athlete it's fine but if you're neither well come on yeah. <laughs> छोले भटूरे से बेटा इतनी गालियां पड़ने वाले ना हमको छोले भटूरे कभी छपरी हो गया that you don't know about see i i i had four or five people approach me for similar thing to to you you know this and yeah. what we doing yeah. i was yeah. like i like you but i've got nothing to talk with you i've got nothing i mean what am i going to talk with you you know you're yeah. not an athlete you're not a coach you're not yeah. not you're not a competitor what yeah. am i going to talk with you you know you are okay you run a youtube channel so popular channel great i don't have a youtube channel i have got nothing to gain theek hai you want my opinion ek bar ho jayega but i don't want to be regular like chalo with you you know i like you at least you experience we can just talk about things you know so there is yeah, something issue anyway educational discussion then that's what this is all about i think it's so about yeah for trying to get drama and negative jo bhi hai anyway oh, nahi nahi no, no drama no. everybody can do what they want chalo ji sab apna apna kare but i think this was a good session we we went over all the indian athletes we wish them all the best me and raja are one amongst them hamara bhi we are going to compete you know whenever we compete we will all sit together and critique each other as well that's just how it's going to go so um, yeah i think that's about it and i know it's late at, uh, late in india right now so good night guys <laughs> um next yep. time okay ji good night thank you all right anyway.